Hello, good morning. Good morning. Oops, I clicked that link and it took me here. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> How's it? I am okay. I just woke up, so give me a minute to get my bearings. I'm still... I am still trying to wake up. Right on. Cool. Where are you from? Are you in the U.S.? I am in the U.S. <laughs> I am um, I'm in the U.S. Oh, me too. I'm in Brooklyn, New York. Okay. I'm in Hawaii, so you're six hours away from me. So it must be um, 7 o'clock a.m.? 7.07 a.m. exactly. Right on. Right on. Yeah, it's 1.07 a.m. over here. That we're pretty much on the extremes as far as the U.S. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> I don't think you can have any two times. I think unless... I think we're 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 extreme. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the span of the U.S. is only six hours. Did you know Russia is eleven hours span? So they're bigger than us. Oh wow! What yeah. about Canada? Is only three hours. So probably yeah, yeah, yeah. The continental. Funny. You're in Hawaii. Where? Oh wow, the the capital island. So not where all that volcanic stuff is happening. Yeah, um, I was just there two weeks ago. Oh, for real? Where were you? Um, basically went to every beach that's on the island. Um, oh, Ever Beach. Went to the went to the swap meet. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Um, seen the vet pipe at Electric Beach. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's funny. Or well, just for your vacation? Yeah, for a vacation with scuba diving. Yeah. I'm um, thinking about going back. Man, you guys have a good... I, I mean, even me, I like to vacation over here sometimes. We call it staycations. Just play tours, go snorkeling. But yeah, like I have a reef tank that I just... I just catch everything from the wild. I don't buy stuff. Oh... They're in the house. Whoop, 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 whoop. Look like Paul's oh, driving now. Hello. <laughs> opposite. Kind of looks like Paul Epps is driving. <laughs> Just slap oh, him, Michael. Just slap him. You came and you came. I'm going to try to get Michael's phone working. Right. One minute. You'd have to do it. Hey, good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing? Um, I still haven't had a cup of coffee yet, so I'm still, I literally just got up, so. Um, I am still trying to get my beer in. Hello, Haley. Hello, JP and Buddy. Hello, Eric and Miriam. Thank you, Tyler. Yeah, I, something. My Michael's phone shit. Something's been happening with the hangouts lately. I can't join. Um, I can't join hangouts from my mobile. I don't know what it is. Seymour. Yes, sir. Send Michael an invite link. Um, I am gonna invite him. So that you have to buy it then. Do you know his... Yeah, I know how to do it. Do you know his email address? Yep. I'm doing it right now. Yep. Bellend at hotmail.com. All right. Right, he's inviting. Anyways, guys, I'm going back to sleep. I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> All right. All right, Narcosis.
All right. All right. Wait, 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 wait. I got it. Um, turn off the alarm. Hit stop, not mute. All right, bring that back. All right, I'm just getting some co coffee in my My Saltwater Journey cup. All right. Let's go. I don't know what happened to them. I think they muted <laughs> something. No, they dropped off. All right. They'll come back. Right. Tell me a little bit about you. What, By the way, what's your name? Uh, AC Aqua. AC. Or Jesse. <laughs> Jesse's my real name. Jesse? Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about your tank, Jesse. Oh, it's a six gallon nano tank. Six gallons? Yeah. And it's one of those um, complete setups where the the filter's in the back. You, know, you put a little pump in the back, and it just pumps out water. And I put like three eight watt fluorescent lights on it. Two whites, one blue. What kind of corals do you have in it? What kind of fish? Uh, okay, so I I collected the stuff on the beach. Oh, that's loud. What is that? That was probably them making. <laughs> excuse them. They're a little. You have to realize the UK UK guys. They're a little, you know. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I, I collected some some live rock in the ocean. I mean, everything's wild caught. So uh, there's a bunch of hermit crabs. There's some zoanthids. So over here, we, we're not allowed to have any um, hard corals. That's illegal to own here. And we can't import any soft corals either. So any soft corals that we own, you have to collect from the wild. You're so I, on, I only have some zoanthids that is locally here. So you're not allowed to have any hard corals at all? No, no. No, it's all around me, and I can collect it, but it's not legal, so I want to share that on YouTube. <laughs> but I actually don't have any right now. I have, I have collected in my past before, a long time, like 10 years ago. But currently, I don't, I don't you know, I'm trying to play it right. Play uh -huh. by the rules. So when you go swimming, you see hard corals. You cannot take that. That's like blasphemy. <laughs> yeah. you, but you see it when you go diving and stuff like that. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You just can take it home and put it in a tank. That would be wrong. Okay. Yeah. Do you yeah. have videos on your channel of um you diving and taking pictures of like the corals? Oh no, I should though. That's a good idea. Yeah. That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. I would watch that. I'm yeah. yeah. I mean just for my own recollection too. All right. Um, if, you, if you post a comment in the chat, because um, I will hit. It's easy for for me to kind of click on it and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. No problem. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, but hey, P babe, we're not gonna talk about what happened, P babe, on Saturday. So we'll just ignore. We'll just we'll just pretend. Like <laughs> Let's just move on. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. You're a football fan too? Oh, no, no, no. Not really. Uh, yeah. yeah. P-Babe and I are Liverpool fans, so. Oh, right on. Right on. That's cool. Yeah, it didn't go well for us. Uh, yeah, so I'm guessing you also do your water change with natural seawater and things like that. You don't have to buy salt. That's right. Yeah, we have on um, public access. Um, tap salt water over here we have a couple so you just go to this certain place and you just fill up your container to bring home mm -hmm. uh, and that okay but it's pretty close to my house if i live far away it would be kind of bothersome but we do sell salt here too for people who's too lazy to go to that one spot okay and how close to the shore do you collect huh how close to Oh, oh it's, it's no, no, it's like right in the bay. It's in the bay. So it's really uh, close. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're back. Hello, guys. Oh, yeah. 
Hey, how are you doing? Right. We're all doing good. good. Having a conversation you, with you. Having someone else? He lives in Hawaii. Michael, Michael's just on the phone. Ah. Uh, oh, okay. Wait on. No, I was saying I was having a conversation with H C Aqua. He um he um he lives in Hawaii and he collects um corals, like wild caught corals. He has a, a small tank, a six gallon tank. Uh, uh yeah, basically that's it. Um wild see with uh, yeah, but did like you know uh H C Aqua uh, can go around his island uh, what three and a half times Sean in three hours. Fritz. Yeah. He that's right. On your way home. George Carl Fitzgerald is already here. Hey, um, hey, it's You've been making videos for a while. They're going to be doing a road trip from. That's funny. Hey, hey, Jack, what? Yeah. 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 He's yeah. always he's always jumping on this channel. Oh yeah, man. Yeah. I've been here before. So. Uh, I'm sorry, man. I never subscribed. Oh no 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 foul no foul. Okay. Okay, all right. Um, you also keep planted tanks. Right. So it's Mostly, like, yeah. Like Manchester area, you know, I'm going to like yeah. Wow. Yep. Oh. There was a time in my life where I only had salt water. Uh, so, I mean, you just kind of transition throughout your life. So <laughs> whatever you're into today, right? So, uh, Are you so a... I... Like what? I was going to ask him if he's a native Hawaiian. Oh, no, no, I'm not. I'm not. So good, good thing you asked that because most people would assume if you're from Hawaii, you're Hawaiian, but that's not the case. I'm not a native of Hawaii, no. Where are you from? I'm, I'm, I was born and raised here, but I can't call myself Hawaii because that's not, I'm not, I don't have that heritage or that bloodline. My, my parents, one of my, I'm fourth generation Chinese. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, go ahead, Paul. Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, oh yeah, but HC's, HC's tank. Does he? The softies he's got. Are they just like native softies, or do they get yes. them shipped in? They, you cannot ship any softies here. They don't. So they're all native. To, they're all native. Yeah, you cannot bring anything non-native here. So otherwise, right? They don't want. They don't want right. you to bring in stuff that because we had we have like, what is it called? Lionfish. They weren't from here, but. You know, it somehow it got here, and it's like causing. This is like blackos, you know. It's like it's causing a havoc, and there's like people who just go out just to kill them because they're not from here. We don't want them here. Yeah, yeah. We've seen the garden like Ramsey. Garden well, Ramsey cooking. Well, I was <laughs> that is, is we're. I'm from Jamaica. Jamaica. Got, I live in New York. I live in New York. From Jamaica. 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 Of those days, and um, and in the Caribbean, they're like having the same problem with the lion. It has no natural predators in the Caribbean, uh, so the it, and it is a little bit invasive. Really so, it's, it's decimating. It has no natural. I don't remember where it's from, but wherever it's from, it has you know it has things that kind of keep the population. But in the Caribbean, it has very few natural predators. I'll I'll, 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 I'm sure it's wild like and proliferates a lot. So uh, in the Caribbean, they're actually guarding like uh, things there. Uh, and uh, and then, people you know, eat it. Like and it is, uh, uh, looking at uh, restaurants, uh, trying to cook it to prepare good meals from it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, but I, I, I kind of see. I, I don't know if it's going to work, but yeah, I could see that. You know, in California, the West Coast of America, like Calorpa is bad because there's places where it just like goes wild and takes over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I can understand that. And you know what happens with people is, um, you know, someone has a fish and they'll know, so they go and they throw away one. Right. And then and someone else does it and they have a male and a female and that's all it takes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And are we here in the tropics, like everything can survive here. So everything that the aquarists throw in, they just survive, they multiply, and they take over. And it becomes a problem. So we have to kind of control that. Yeah, happens. That's why, that's why they made those laws. It hurts me. Like, I don't want those laws. Like, that's unfair to me as a responsible aquarist. But I understand why they did that. Because it happened already, you know? There's enough bad seeds, you know. It it happens inland in freshwater too, where 
Yeah, totally. Fresh water things just take over a waterway or something. Something. Yeah. In the yeah. There's Tanganyikan cichlids growing in the north shore of Oahu over here. And they're beautiful, but they don't belong here at all. And what did they do to the, what, what did belong here, you know? But yeah, I mean, that's why just, I can understand it. Mm -hmm. I just wish that wasn't the case because I want those things and I can't have it because of a few irresponsible, right? I, I, yeah, but I'm sure that happens all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, tell me a little bit about, excuse me, some of the soft corals that you keep. I know you said zoanthids, but what well, else? What kind of? I'll, I I don't know what they're called. I can just identify them by what they look like. Okay. So there's some big, like there's some really big stuff. Like it's green. It has like a like an iridescent look to it, and I don't know what it is. It's some kind of anemone, single anemone. They just live alone. They're almost as big as a cucumber, mm. and they're very shallow on the shore. So it's it's just easy to just go walking on the beach and just pick one up. If you pick up a rock, you're likely to pick one of those up. So they're very common. And but they're gorgeous too. Like I mean, just you know, I I like them. You know, I take them home and I put them in my tank, and it's like, oh yeah, I like that thing. All right. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, there's a lot of different anemone types. Guys, back again? No, I've always been here. I've just muted it, so he's quiet. Why are you but, talking? I was going to say something. I forgot what I was going to say. Again, mate. Was but I'll let you talk one minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long drive home. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll stay with them as long as I can. But it's, mm -hmm. I literally just got up. And today's Memorial Day, so you know, thankfully, no school for the oh, kids. That's right. Yeah, I have to work on my Memorial Day to drop off my kids at my dad's house to work with my dad. We install um AC tomorrow at someone's house. Ah, uh, I need I need an AC installed here. Yeah, I have. <laughs> I have Summer enough, time's coming. Yeah, I have enough projects. Um, hang on one second, Tyler. Can you? Yeah. Pass my backpack, please. It's in the kitchen. So my entire my project for today is I was away on business last week and my controller failed. The head unit of my controller failed. So um so I connected with a guy I know from Neptune Systems and um I got a different head. So today I have to Today, my entire project is uh, kind of reinstalling my controller. And because the old one failed and I didn't get to save anything, I'm basically going to have to reprogram my controller from scratch. No, uh, it sucks. Yeah, we're talking like probably 18 different devices. I don't even remember the code Damn. from a lot of them. So <laughs> this is going to be interesting. <laughs> I don't... Yeah, I don't even know. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I don't, I don't, even, I don't even have like five devices. What are you doing with eight? What are you doing with 18 devices? What is going on there? On one controller? On one controller, you have 18 devices? I have. <sighs> <laughs> I probably overdo things. <laughs> Sounds like. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't. I don't have that. The um. That sounds pretty awesome, though. Yeah, let me answer a question in the chat, Melanie. Um, the Apex is a little over a year old. I gotta admit that Neptune, um, kind of they they um they took care of me because I didn't buy this. Um, let me. I'm I'm sitting down looking at the tank now. The lights mm. aren't on yet, so let me let me off the top of my head. Let me just see if I can just remember, just tell you like what some of the things that are. And by the way, just remember, I, I tend to overdo the whole tech and devices stuff. So, so <laughs> I have two radions. Those are not connected to the Apex. So let me just talk about the things that are connected to the Apex. I have four T5 lights. 
one connect right back. Front. All of you. Uh, so, five front. Five. Uh, uh, we have um, we have two pumps. I have um, oh gosh, I can't even remember right now. I probably have a UV sterilizer, a pump for that UV sterilizer, a carbon pump, my return pump, skimmer, auto top off, um, refugium light, um, killer, a cooling fan. And a partridge in a battery. I know. That's all I can remember. I don't remember. I honestly can't remember. Like, that's all I can remember right now. But I know it. Yeah. Jeez. That, I mean, you had a lot. That was like, you said 18 different things. I think so. <laughs> I've got a return pump, a skimmer, a heater, and a light. Oh, yeah, we got a heater, too. Can't forget that. I have no heaters. I don't own one heater. Well, you're in Hawaii, so, you know. No <laughs> or chillers. How, how do you pronounce the place where you are? Oahu. Oahu. Yeah. What you were pretty say? close. You had it pretty good. Landon. <laughs> Landon. <laughs> Oahu. You was right, Mela. Oahu. Yeah. yeah. We're all, we're all going to join the hangout on separate phones. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, because I'm on my phone because we can't hear you because because the speakers just not very loud at all. So mm. I've got my headphones on with my microphone, so I can hear you. Can see you now. Paul's got his headphones on, and he's gonna join the hangout with his phone. Oh, he already has. <laughs> and then between Mark's gonna join as well, so we can all talk to you. <laughs> nice. There's definitely some shenanigans going on. Right. Nemo. Yes, sir. Just, can you check the. Messenger. Mark, I've emailed and invited. Uh, All right. Can I hear me? I can hear you. Mark Epps just got invited. Oh, Oahu. Is, um, okay, that's one of the that's one of the bigger islands, right? It's the capital, uh, the middle island. It's, it's, it's the mid size. Mid size. It's not the biggest island. I I I oh. want to visit Hawaii. I just think from New York to Hawaii, that's gonna be a lot. Oh. Yeah, I bet it's gonna be at least like six hundred dollars just for the plane ticket. And I've I've had friends that per person and say it's expensive. Uh. It's all right. I'm inviting him again. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's a, well, they say it's a little bit more expensive than the States. Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, not, I mean, anything coastal is about the same price. New York or LA, they're both expensive. Always the same. Crazy expensive. Anything close to the water is expensive, I think. But anyway, I, I gotta go. I gotta work tomorrow. No problem. Hey, thank you. Right. I did um I did subscribe, so I'll be following. But yeah, okay, right on, yeah. If you do um if you do, I think that would be awesome. I don't know, maybe I'm being a little selfish, but if you go swimming and you could take pictures of like, you know, the stuff, um Totally, totally. Yeah, awesome. yeah. yeah do yeah. a video on that. Yeah. Also, oh, like today, I, I videotaped um, me going into the woods and, and okay. visiting a, a river, and I caught some wild fish in the river with a net. And I took it home and I set up a tank with the wild fish over there. All right. So, so far, I'm just, I did that. But it's coming out next week sometime when I put it together. I don't know. All right. But yeah, I'll do. I'll do that. I'll do it in the ocean too. That'd be cool. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. All right, man. Nice seeing you. Guys. Nice seeing you guys. All right. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you. Yeah. Okay. Nice meeting you too. All right. Good night. You guys all right? Yeah. He's, he's trying to talk to you through my microphone, which is all the way over here when he's got a microphone right on it. Yeah, we can hear it. 
Can you hear him okay? No. I hear Paul. You can hear him? Yeah, that's right. Can you hear Paul? Yeah. yeah. All right. Paul. <laughs> Paul is loud. It's all right. Right, have you had it mark him? I did, a bunch of times. His phone didn't ring. The new one. Yes, sir. Send, Let send me send another email to Oh, email him the link. I thought you said invite him. Yeah, but I did, but I sent you another email address because the first one was wrong. All right, let me let me email him. I didn't email him. I invited him. No, 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 no. Invite him. Invite him with the new email address. He sent you a second email address over. I did. I say yeah, yes. I'm gonna do it again right now. So listen out for a phone call. Gonna do it again now. All right. I can't even tell whether it's a white car asleep or not. It's perfectly still and I can't see that. <laughs> if he goes into the Hangouts app, it should be there or it should be ringing. Is he on the Hangouts app? Yeah. You do it. Oh. Nothing's happening? Uh, you really loud, yeah. Hello, everyone. What's up, CJ? Yeah, we up early, man. Memorial Day, trying to get some stuff in with the kids. CJ, my controller failed. I got a new controller yesterday. Um, so I got to reprogram my entire Apex. Not going to be fun. <laughs> I mean, not like just got it saved to a cloud or something where you just like press the button and everything just goes like, oh. I, I, wait. I didn't do that. I should have done that. I should have saved my configuration, but idiot me didn't do that. Oh, That's, so you can though. You can yeah. though, yeah? Oh, yeah. You could you could dump your profile, yeah, and save it. Oh, okay. Yeah, the brain died. Oh, yeah, yeah. CJ, when I was away on uh, vacation last week, my controller died. The brain unit died. Um... And I had to get my wife to like um, to come on and program stuff and you know set the tank up so the tank can work. Um, but the tank is all right. Luckily, the radions weren't plugged into the controller at all, so those worked. The T fives didn't work. Um, I don't know what to say. I haven't quite figured out what happened, but the contr the head unit died. So. That's my project for today. Well, you know, Michael, I put in a good word for you. We'll see what happens. With who? Huh? With who? Uh, with who? You put a, what's that? With Neptune? Yeah. You put a good word in for me? Yeah. Why? Oh, what did you say? Because I feel like. What, sorry? I'll tell you what they said offline, but I put in a good word for you. Right, okay. We, we're, I'm going to convert you. That's my life's mission. <laughs> it's over. DJ, me and you talk. Me and you and Michael talk. I'll speak to you more. Everything. Come here, DJ. Yo, what's, what's happening? Up, Shut your hey. window. Hey, in the work. You got your windows open, are they just loud? Yeah, I got one of them. I got yeah. one of them. DJ, you working today? You know it. Oh, man. Is it not, is it not like a, a holiday day for you guys today? It triple is. Time. Triple, triple, triple. Triple time. Huh? It's triple, triple time. Triple time. Yeah, but CJ does uh, IT. Somebody always needs to be there, so it doesn't matter when. I'm gonna be the only one in the building, so I'm, I'm rocking my minions and my uh, pajamas today. Everyone else in the entire building will be at home. <laughs> I can't hear him very well. Is it just me? He said, um, "Can you hear me?" I don't know. Yeah, but I say I'm the only one that's gonna be in the building. Everybody else is either working right. at home or off today. 
Go with the plans and raid the vending machine. Yep. That <laughs> uh, catch up on some football stuff. I gotta I gotta work on some stuff for practice and you know, watch some Netflix. Oh, <laughs> for triple time. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Oh yeah. When does football uh, season? When does football season start, TD? Oh, right. We already we already started. Uh, the CJ DJ That's where I've been on the live stream. Uh, I was gonna say I know every year you have like a few month period where it's almost like you're you're MIA. Yep, from now till October. Yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna see less time. and less of me, man. That's five months. Yep. Five whole months. That's even if you guys don't make the playoffs or anything, right? Right. Man. Yeah. Okay. That's commit. That's commitment, man. That's commitment. I'm normally when I take over, I I go through a stage of where I can't be bothered, which is like the start of spring when the sun starts coming out, where I can't be bothered making videos because I want to go outside. And then as I start getting back into it, that's when CJ goes off. <laughs> We have a rotation. <laughs> Me and CJ can't create videos at the same time, otherwise the world would explode. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I tell you what, man. It actually, uh, it actually feels good getting away for a while. Honestly, man. I've, I, to be honest, I've because I've got made videos now for months, and um, I've just felt like you know not having that pressure of like, oh, I've got to get a video out. I've got to get a video out. I quite liked it. Um, I've actually missed making videos, though, but I've not missed the pressure. So um, I just need to find a way to get the equilibrium between those two. Then it'd be good. Then we'll be golden. You know what? I think I think once I've made that mental decision, like, not to um, take YouTube too seriously, like, it's just going to be fun, I think it's, I think it's just been better for me. I think when I was younger, man, I had this, I think I was going through a little depression when I was on Facebook. You know, you're looking at, you're looking at everyone like posting pictures on vacation and you know, you sitting there, you're like, what am I doing with my life? It's almost like a depression. And I decided to leave Facebook for a couple of years. That was like mentally for me, that was one of the best decisions I think I took. When I finally, you know, rejoined Facebook like years later, I think I was more, I, you know, I kind of understood exactly what's going on. Everyone posts highlights of their life, so I was I was more mentally prepared for that. So I think for me, I leave it up to y'all professionals. But for me, this thing is just it's just fun. I work from home. I have a very boring job, so this is just a way for me to just have fun, break up my it's day. It's a good job. It's a good job. Hey. It's a good job you came back when you was mentally prepared because having to deal with me, Paul, and Woody, <laughs> you need to be mentally prepared for that. <laughs> you started it. Oh, you got yeah. Hey, I don't worry about that oh, Facebook yeah, stuff, man. I was off of it for like six years. I'm only on it. For, Ooh, what the fuck I'm only on it for football related stuff. I don't even I, I don't even post birthdays, my kids' birthdays, I don't post holidays. I don't do anything on, on social media, man. That's not that's not what it's for for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I, I understand for, for people that wanna yeah. wanna tag where they are every day and what they're doing every day. More power to them. Me, you know, you're not gonna know a thing about me because that's just the way I am, unless you know me. So. I um, yeah, I, I think um, at the last job, um, I think when I became like like a manager, I had to like do some social media stuff too. So I needed to be on it. You can't you you can't manage campaigns if you're not on sure. Facebook. But yeah. I just think I I got back into it a little bit. But it's mostly, I mostly do fish related stuff, man, and food. My two loves oh, oh. other than my family, fish and food. So if it ain't about those, <laughs> you really don't see a lot of Somewhere stuff. Posted. But, um, but yeah, I was, you, you, I was mentally prepared. I wasn't mentally, yeah, when I was long, younger, you know, I had a business. My business wasn't doing too well. And then when you're looking at, you know, what everybody else is doing, they're on vacation, look like they're living it up every night. And you're just sitting here, you know. Um, like, man, what am I doing with my life? My life sucks. And everybody else's life looks so great. Yeah, but they only they only showing you the great parts of their life. That's the thing. 
Yeah, that, that's, that's what the thing. Took. That's the trick. That's the trick on there, man. You got, you got to understand, man. Now he's showing you 10%. The rest of the shit's terrible like everybody else. That, that's <laughs> what I have to learn. That's what I had to learn. And it took me, you know, it took a little bit of maturity to learn that. That's what I had to learn. Yo, cr crazy enough, CJ, yo, I, I'm my brother-in-law. I came, I, I was looking at his social media one day. I was like, yo, this dude is living it up, man. Dude been taking pictures with like, you know, liquor and living it up. When I looked closely, I was like, wait a second. Said, that, that's my place. That looks like my liquor. Turns out the dude was coming to my house, man, like laying out my liquor, man, and taking pictures with it, looking all cool. <laughs> See? That's terrible, man. <laughs> hey, I, I heard you I heard you say something about backing up the config on the Apex, man. I, I may need to do that for mine. Is that a simple process? I don't think it's a very involved process. I did it I've never done it with this. I've done it with the old Apex. So I know how to do it there, but I'm gonna message my once I get this up and running today, because there is one way where you can just dump the entire configuration file. And have it saved. A, a one other word of advice for you, CJ. Make sure you the one the one thing that I think didn't that I didn't pay attention too much. You know how we would always you know we would program fallback. Make sure your fallbacks are like. Make sure you double check your fallbacks because um, you know for me I don't think. I paid attention too much to a few fallbacks that could have possibly been detrimental, but those fallback on or off, you want to ha have them in. So if your brain dies, you know, they'll fix it for you. They'll take care of you, but you want to make sure like your power heads are running. You want to make sure that, you know, whatever, all that third party stuff, like your skimmer, I don't know, skimmers running, your lights are on, like different things. I think your Radeons have the configuration saved. So I think, you know, I think that you can leave yeah, on. That's crazy, man. So as you... Oh, see, if the Radeons fall back, back on to the profile you have to set it, do they go back to their 100% 100% profile? You know what I'm saying? Do they really do that? I don't know. That's a good question. All right. You know what you got to do then? You know you got to do that test tonight where you just simply yeah. unplug the head unit. And see what happens. Yeah, that's what I might have to do. Because yeah, I got I got a feeling they're gonna come back on to their default, and their default is 100, 100. You know what I'm saying? 100 across the board, every channel at 100. Um, All right, well, test it and test it and let's know, and then um, test it and um, and see. I think, I think the radions, though. I think the programming are saved uh, on the uh, radions yeah. itself, DJ. I think even if you leave the light on, it should fall. Hey. You have. Because it, whenever you program into Radeons with like a USB cable, it, it's you know you don't have to keep it plugged in for it to follow the schedule. So, um, that's that's my that's my that that's my that's what I'm thinking. I don't know how it works. At least that's what happens with like when you're using like USB or you're using a reef link, I'm not sure how the W What's going on? <laughs> Two camera angles, one camera angle with me. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. He's living the, living the life, man. No. What time y'all show start? Are y'all already done with it? What show? Whatever y'all doing, y'all next poll. Uh... Oh, that was yesterday. We're on our way home. Oh, okay. Did it yesterday. Uh, went really well. Really busy. It was a good day. A uh, really good day. We uh, we didn't get we 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 got no sleep and we got no. We're doing enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. They're five hours ahead, so it's it's afternoon your time. It's eight a.m. here. Yeah, it's it's six hours. They're six hours ahead of you, CJ. Yeah. Hey, Michael Aaron. Show. <laughs> hey, Michael Aaron. Aaron's Aquarium legend. I'm gonna make that stick. Been pushing it for ages now. Hey, um, how many? Were you guys happy with the turnout? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We, I'd say we, we didn't, we don't have like a, a full, a full like head count yet. But I would probably say we had double last year. So we're talking over two hundred people. 
last year. Uh, sorry, over 200 people this year um, attend the show. Whereas last year we, we had just over 100 people attend. So, um, you know, we've, we've doubled our attendance. And if it does that year on year on year, then we can... What? Yeah, you, you That's good, All man. Right. Yeah, so, um, so that's good. Yeah, really good. Really busy. Um, people seem to really enjoy themselves as well. It was a hot day. Really, really hot day. Um, and there was no air conditioning in the shop. And you couldn't even go outside of the shop to try and escape the heat because it was hotter outside than it was inside. And it was hot inside. So you were screwed. <laughs> there was nowhere to go over than climb in the fish tank to try and kill down. Well, they're all flipping marine tanks, so they're all running at 25 degrees as well. There was just no escape in the heat yesterday. I think that was probably, if there was anything like truly negative to say, it was just how hot yesterday was. It made it a little bit uncomfortable, um, you know, to be there because it was really, really warm. But other than that, yeah, it was, it was really, really, really fun. All right. All right, man. So, yeah. the next, so next year, is good. all right, next year, if it doubles again, 400, man, that's not bad. That's what I mean. You know, if, the thing is, is we, we're, at a, we're at a bit of an issue stage now, though, because obviously we're using um, LFSs as our venues. So rather than using gym halls or hotel conference rooms or anything like that as our venues. We're using um, LFS. In. But the problem is now is if we do double again next year, then there isn't any LFSs that we know of that's big enough to, to you know, to, to have that many people in. You know what I mean? Just have it at Woody's apartment. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll hire the West Wing of Buckingham Palace. Yeah. But yeah, so that's we 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 have a couple of plans. But well, one of the plans that we would one of the places make more. that we would truly honestly like to do is Nick Nick Chan's place. Uh, do you know Nick Chan Aquarium Cabinet Solutions? Yeah. We we would love 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 to use his place. Um, but it's not currently in a um state. Position we, we, you, don't, you don't have to be nice. We've seen the pictures, man. We've seen the pictures. <laughs> All right, it's a shithole and we can't go there yet. <laughs> but, you know, he said that he might be able to get it up to code. So if he can, then that's where we'd love to go because it's perfect because it's like middle of the road. You know, it's like it's in the middle of, um, of the country. So, say, for example, with people from London, they'll only have to drive three hours. People from Scotland will like be driving three, four hours if they're coming from like Glasgow and Edinburgh. Us over in the northwest of England, it's only like forty-five minutes. People over in the northeast of England, again, it's only like forty-five minutes or so. So it's like perfect, perfect place to go uh, for, for the show. But um, it's one of those where um, he just needs to get it to a standard where we can actually utilise it. But also, as well, it's got a big, like, yard um, at the front of the place. So there's plenty of parking, loads and loads of parking, um, and we can then utilize the space available to, um, what's it called? To do, to do like, family stuff. Your castle, or you call them bouncy houses, don't you? Um, you know, like a bouncy castle outside and, we could get some food outside, you know, do a bit of a barbecue and whatever else, and just make it like a, a really, really fun environment for everyone. You know what I mean? So that would be ideal. I hear you. Just got to give Nick the kick. That would be nice, man. I'm glad. I'm glad. I've got, a great, I've got a great picture of Nick that I'd like to share with everybody soon of him. He was that tired yesterday after the show when we went out for a couple of beers afterwards. He fell asleep on the sofa while we while we was all having a drink, having a drink. But he was fighting it. <laughs> he was fighting his him falling asleep. 
So at one point, he fell asleep, and I thought he'd had a stroke. Because <laughs> he, was, he was half asleep and half awake. But I just don't know what was going on, because he had his hand like this. His hand was in this, like, claw position. His eyes had rolled into the back of his head, and he was like this. <laughs> and I was like, Nick, Nick. And he went, what? I went, oh, my God. I thought you'd had a stroke. <laughs> um, about back he too, was, probably. He was proper exhausted. He was absolutely knackered. So then, me being me, you know, being the ca- the kind and you know, you know, the the type of person where it's like, you know, this man is clearly tired and all that lot, and you know, we, he needs to, you know, we need something to help him. So every time he fell asleep, I took funny pictures of him. <laughs> You know, because that's what you do for somebody that falls asleep when they're surrounded by people in a public area. You write, you know, you write crazy <laughs> messages on their face, like what Paul's well, family did to him. Yeah, well, I I fell asleep in how while those the while these were still awake. So. <laughs> <laughs> I fell asleep while these were still awake. So these pictures of me now in bed with all sorts of drawn on that. Ah. <laughs> I'm glad it was a good man. I'm excited. I'm excited. It was. Just to share that same more than that. Hey. Next year. Next year. We'll, you, we'll, we'll put it up as like a big advertisement. Our special guest, Reefing with oh! no, 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 no. Everyone, Everyone will be like, wow, look at this man. He's so tall. Do you want to go Shirley Aquatics? Got shot. Wow, right. Yeah. Oh. The Aqua Depot. Um. Uh, you have to navigate to it though, because I don't know right there. So surely aquatic. They were good corals at the Aqua Depot. Yeah, there were some nice corals there. Uh, Did you guys okay, pick up anything? Take one, second. one second, mate. Let me just. Uh, I just. Uh, let me just do something. I just there's a there's a fish shop near where we are. Um, so oh there, look, Matt, 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 Matt. There's a fish shop near where we are. Um, I filmed here a while ago. So you're gonna want to go visit it again? Yeah, well, we're in. Well. Did you guys pick up any corals? No, I did. I did. All right. Uh, what? Got to ask Woody how his corals are doing. How far away is it? A minute. Some of them. Did it, have you heard the story about one of Woody's corals? Yeah, and it's funny how I when I called when we had that call. I think it was about maybe twelve o'clock your time, and it was already missing because he said, "Oh, oh, I think one of my corals are missing." It wasn't even that late. I think I think I called you guys like about eight o'clock my time, which would have been one, 1 p.m. Which coral went missing? Sorry, mate. Sorry, I'm just trying to no, I'm trying to find. I'm just trying to find somewhere. Oh, it was on the way. We're going backwards. Can I pass it up? It's been nine minutes. Come on. Oh, no. That's all. That's okay. Yeah. I'll tell you what, though. See how far T's Reef is? T's Reef. T's Reef. T-double-E. Reef. T's Reef. Okay, Google. Navigate to T's Reef. 18 minutes. Put it on the put it on the navigation if it and if we go near it on the way. Uh, we'll go there. Is is uh see well I can't see the chat but is Vicky is Vicky in the um, chat? No. 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 JB Aquatic no. says he knows a few LFSs in the Medford area, a few big ones. No way, never. 
No, he said for Aqua Expo next year. Oh, right. Okay. They said that, JB Aquatic. Yeah. I'm aware of you on Facebook, mate. Send me a message on Facebook, JB, with, with the names of the shops, and I'll look into it. Which one of which one of Woody's corals went missing? The uh, the Lepto one, it the John Deere. Oh my gosh, I have that. That's that's a nice oh, coral. He's got Go across. <laughs> oh, I'm so Too far? It's out of the way. It's like in the center of Birmingham, they're like 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Ailey says Bedford is still pretty far down towards the south, though. Yeah, Bedford's a bit too far down for me, I think. Where's Mad Dog's going to break? That's where, right next to this. That's why I'll find Should we go? Uh, you want to bring up Mad Dog's? It, well, that's Seed Reef is right near Mad Dog's house. So should we go down there? Yeah. Right. Hit him up on Facebook. You message him uh, Probably better off messaging Vicky. Um, Hayley, if you can, can you message Vicky for me? Let her know that we're going to tease. I don't know where she is. She's in the chat. She is there. I, I know Haley is, but Vicky is in the chat. Yes, Haley, can you message Vicky? Let her know they're going to tease Rafe. Vicky. Vicky. <laughs> Vicky. Vicky. She said she will. Will do. Will do. I don't know what kind of accent is that. Says love. Left that's an Ashton accent. Well, Dale. No, it's not. Well, Dale, mate. <laughs> that's Mary Poppins. Well, that way, yeah. well, Dale, mate. Well, Dale, Mary Poppins. That's a Jamaican British accent. <laughs> I was doing it before. What was I saying when we was at the show? Oh, the DJ, DJ Chakai, MC Chakai. Stood there in the middle of the show. Work, work, robot! MC Chuck Eyes in the house! It's wrestle time! <laughs> Chuck Eyes. MC Chuck Eyes, DJ Ario. A little bit of luck. You know what? That is actually not... Uh, that's not a bad DJ name. What? DJ, DJ Chuck, Ario? Chuck Eyes. MC Chuck Eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Your chocolate and... You're not exactly white, but you know you're clear, but you're still cool as a cucumber. You're still ice cold. That's what I mean. DJ wow. Chuck Eyes. <laughs> MC Chuck Eyes. Tell you, mate, me and you, let's been going for it. We could, we, could, we could put something together. We could be like the English and American grime artists. We'll make DJ look and MC Neat look like crap. Do you make DJ who? What? You Wait. don't know who DJ... You know, you don't know who DJ Luck and MC Neat are. <laughs> DJ Luck. DJ Luck, MC Neat. I'm going straight on that. What? Yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> a crap navigator. Yeah, sure. DJ Luck, MC Neat. They're like they're like legends in the UK garage scene. UK garage doesn't really exist anymore. It got replaced by grime, but. UK Garage, still love UK Garage. DJ Locker, MC Neat. Yep. Oh, stop turning the fucking messages. Oh, there's Larry. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going. And you. <laughs> well, he keeps well. turning the maps off and then I ask him where we're going. He goes, I don't know. <laughs> A little bit of luck. That's it. A little bit of luck. We can't make it through the night. Hello, what a reason to. Oh, Master Blaster 2000. I know, I know. You know Master Blaster? Yeah, I know. That song, I know. Master Blaster. Thank you. You know, for a fact, I know. Huggle. 
Ahí se enfocó. No, 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 MC Chuck, MC Chuck Ice and assistant DJ Ariel. That's me and you. DJ Chuck Ice. Which way? Can I just be the white boy? <laughs> <laughs> MC Chuck. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you should have, you know what, last night, right? <laughs> Seymour, you know this. <laughs> last night, we went a little bit, um, hey. how, yeah. <laughs> Do you know when we're having a laugh and we go a little bit homo? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hang on, before you go full homo. Um, <laughs> hey, Vicky said to let Mad Dog know, what time will you guys be there? How long before you guys get there? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 20 minutes, Haley. 20 minutes. When you get to the top of the term, right? What? When you get to the top of the term, right? Um, 20 minutes, and then we'll get some KFC. We've just had a Mackie. I don't know. In London. Landing. Uh, yeah, so, like, as you know, every now and then, me and Woody especially, me, Woody, and Paul, we go a little homo. And Mark, <laughs> he's not used to it before, man. <laughs> you should have seen it when we got back to the hotel room. <laughs> hey, would, he stay, would he stay at the hotel with you guys? Nah, we couldn't get him to stay. We tried getting him to stay. We wanted Woody to stay out all night and flip him play out all night because, like, obviously, because me and Paul and Mark were allowed out, so it's like we're allowed out, we're playing out. And we, me and him, especially, especially him, he gets loud in when he's drunk. And, uh,. We didn't sort of like, it was one of those where it's like, I don't want the night to end, it's just too good. And it was one of those where, it was uh, one of those, but we were trying to get Woody to stay out, he weren't having it, weren't having it. Even though his missus was saying, Dean, stay out. <laughs> and he's like, nah. She called him a pussy. She did. <laughs> Wait, his missus was there? No, she was on the phone because she was out. She was already out and she was telling him to stay out with us. And he was like, nah, I'm going to come home. She's like, stop being a pussy, stay out. <laughs> that was her words, exactly. <laughs> like, right, next time we do an Aqua Expo, Dean, you're not invited. But you're so, Woody, so Woody, got, Woody went home with his tail between his legs, even though his, his missus didn't want him home. <laughs> yeah, she was out. She was already out. I think um, I think they probably both got home about the same time, though, to be fair. So. But to be honest, while for the, for the period of time that we had him, I gotta admit, like you know, obviously I've met I've met Woody personally a couple of times now. Paul met him for the first time, and I gotta admit, like Woody is just hilarious. He's top, he's a proper nice, genuine guy. Do you know what I mean? And funny as hell. Yeah. At one point, we was in Nando's. I was eating some chicken. And, he, and I nearly died, I nearly drowned. And I don't know how you can manage this, but I nearly did it. I nearly drowned on chicken. <laughs> <laughs> because flipping Woody just had me in stitches. Him and Chris, uh, Chris Roast, he comes on the stream sometimes. Great, those two. They're like, um, they're like Bert and Erna. <laughs> the best way I can explain it. Honestly, like, seriously. <laughs> Hey, oh, who, so funny. Who's, bur who's burnt? Woulda. <laughs> Woulda. <laughs> oh, it's proper. Honestly, mate, it's a pain. Them two. Absolutely hilarious. Loved it. And so, honestly, the full day yesterday, like, up until yesterday, I was dead light, a bit, I was apprehensive, I was a bit nervous, you know, everything else, because we've never done anything on this scale before. And we didn't know what to expect. Do you know what I mean? We just didn't know, are people actually going to turn up? You know, is everything going to go right? You know, we had a little bit of a hiccup at the beginning where some fish tanks wasn't ready. It wasn't finished. So they were still being sort of like constructed while people were queuing up outside um, and stuff like that. So, you know, but we was, we just didn't know what to expect, but it went so well. It went really, really well. Um, and, you know, it was just so much fun. It was great being able to meet everybody that we 
speak to and see, you know, on these live streams right now. Um, and, you know, obviously people coming over and saying, you know, putting, oh, yeah, watch you on, watch you on YouTube and yada, yada, yada. Brilliant. Really loved it. One um, one guy that came over to me, he was like, uh, what was it? It's like, he was talking about me and then he come over or something. He went, no, I don't know you. <laughs> Just rubber blade and it's like, <laughs> that guy who won the 200 pound voucher, he didn't, he didn't know who you were. <laughs> I didn't know who you were. No, but you know what I mean? Like, no, actually, sorry. He knew who you were. You know who Reef Community Worldwide is. They didn't know you was Reef Community Worldwide. Yeah. Until it's like that. Because he was like, oh, yeah, I've seen you on the live stream show with Reef Community Worldwide. And, you know, and I went, that's in there. I went, what, that's Paul? I went, yeah, that's in there. I went, no way. And he was like, yeah, um, I remember, you know, listening to, is it Nick? So I said, yeah, yeah, Nick. He went, yeah, Aquarium Cabinet Solution. So I went, yeah. He went, um, like, he said a few things that, you know, it's really out of me, I'll be in. I went, oh, right, okay. I went, and I was like, are you listening to this, Nick? And Nick went, what? And he said, right, he went, oh, are you Nick? <laughs> it's like, literally, every time he spoke about someone, he was stuck right next to him. <laughs> so I went, that's Nick there. <laughs> He's like, no way, is that Nick? So obviously, because Nick barely ever shows his face, does he on streams or anything, you just hear him. Except recently. Oh, I, <laughs> I can't hear what he's saying, but I know what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> Can you not hear him? Why not? Because he won't let me do it. Well, I need to sign back into it. I need you to know what he wants. All right. You know what he said then. Just <laughs> 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 uh, he said, just by your laugh, he knows exactly what you said. <laughs> yep. It's all right. Oh, hey, God. Woody, you going to jump in? Woody? Yeah. 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 Is he in the chat? Dean what? Yeah, Woody. Yeah. Um, the thing is, when Woody was telling me that it's Coral was missing, I don't... He's in the chat. Woody is so cool. It's like, Woody will tell you the worst thing. Like, if, I, if, if Paul brought me Corals, and you put them in a tank and they went missing. Oh, oh, oh. You know, I would have gone mental. And Woody was like, oh. Sorry, go on. What are you saying, Steve? I was saying, if somebody brought me corals and put them aside, I would have gone, like, mental. But Woody was like, oh, I don't know where the coral went. I think one is missing. And I'm like, what do you mean one is missing? Like, somebody stole it? And he was just so cool. So calm. Yeah, I don't think I could even wind him up if I wanted to, but I'm dead good at winding people up. <laughs> Straight over there. So there it is. So you guys, so you guys, you guys over here, over here. Over here. Everybody all right. You know all right. You guys in Birmingham now, right? Yeah. You know what? Damn, I tried to know what it is. Cheese race. Well, Birmingham is not too far from that. You, you, like you guys are like two hours from home. Yeah, that's it. So that's why I thought, well, we'll just consider we're in the area. We'll just step off. Right, you, can, you, you, can turn it, you can turn it off now, I'll put it on there. The M6. You what? No way. A bouncy, I bet that's a weather series. <laughs> or it's next to Coral, which is a bookies. So all the dads are in the bookies. And for all the kids on the bounty castle. <laughs> Which way? Oh. I've got the phone. What is it? It is a pub. Yeah. <laughs> there's a pub in the LFS? Do you know what? If there's... Oh, Vicky's here with you guys. Guys, you guys are Vicky's in. Yeah, Vicky's in. 
She okay. said we don't. She said we don't talk that bad. All right. Are you going to be able to prove it now, Vic? Are you coming? Is she coming down? Is she going to come to T three? She said. She said she told Mad Dog. We can't see anything. I'm seeing the top of the car from Mark's photo. Do you see I, my camera? No, you turned it off. I turned the camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, you do. You how does the camera go off? I'm using the sat nav, you say. Ah, uh, yeah. Is that an iPhone Paul has? Oh, she said she no. can't find my dog. She can't what? She can't find my dog. She can't find him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, is he out? Oh, go ahead. I would, I would like to meet my dog while I was down here. I know you said my dog has like a sick gaming rig, right? Yeah. He's got flipping everything. It's like, I told you, he's like the lawnmower man. He's got flipping, he lives in v VR. That's probably why she can't find him. He's in VR. <laughs> 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 he's gone to Brazil in his virtual reality world. Why not? If anyone has any question about reef tanks, try and ask your question. Get your question in now because once we get to T's reef, we're going to be flipping going mental when we get there. Uh oh. See who joined. It's Woody. What's up, guys? So, so what? What me on my guy? What is it? Send me a link. How do I send you a link? Hey Woody, you saw those pictures? Hang on, I'm not, I haven't. And they sent yesterday, pictures. Woody. What pictures, mate? In the in the hangout in the the um Facebook. No, do you know what? I've not seen none of the pictures. Oh man, you missed it. Done yesterday. I ain't seen nothing. You, you missed it. I think I think you should mute and go. Actually, don't mute. Go look at them now. What's it on the Echo X phone? Um, no, the other one. What, Michael's one. Wait, what, no. on, on, our, on our group? Yeah. On the love square. On the love square. On the love square. On the love square. <laughs> <laughs> and I missed out on all this, did I? Yeah. Yeah, they told you you should have come back to the hotel room. Did, did you? <laughs> Wait. If I, if I would have known all that was going on. <laughs> it looks like someone's cuddling right. Mark from behind. <laughs> Mark, Mark all last night. <laughs> Wait a second. I'm looking at these again. It's funnier in the morning. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't take him anywhere. <laughs> oh, Mark, he's a, he's a stallion. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'll get him a cheeky Nando if he's anyone's. <laughs> yeah. Didn't even cry one bit. <laughs> oh, I've gone the wrong way. Again, you done that yesterday. Yeah, but flipping out, you went the wrong way when we was in London. <laughs> you lived there. <laughs> flipping the nightmare around there. It's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you, can, you can tell you're in Birmingham because parking, people just don't give a crap. Like, it's a red, like, it's not double yellow lines, it's double red lines, so it's like no stopping ever. There's even a big sign that says red route. No stopping at any time, and everybody's parts on him. <laughs> everybody's parts on the line. Why don't you just use the other camera? What do you feel like, Evan? What's the plans for the day, Woody? What? 
Yeah. My plans for today. All right. Recover from Sorry. yesterday. <laughs> you weren't even out with them all night, Woody. No, no. no. It was only an, it was only an hour because we Woody. went home at twelve. Woody, I heard I heard your wife well, wanted. Tell me what you mean, Woody. I heard you got called a p word, Woody. <laughs> Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> he was like one of the leads last night. He was, wasn't she? We were sat in Woody's car, and she, we had her own speakerphone. And like, literally, she had the banter. She had all of the banter. She had us like, Woo! She's the back of the car. <laughs> That's what happens when she has a couple of glasses of wine. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my gosh. oh we're, ne we're nearly there. I showed my wife the picture. She said, that's what you missed out on. You should have gone. Oh, my gosh, Woody. Those pictures went straight to your wife's phone, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I forgot about that. <laughs> hey, listen. That picture in the red boxes. That one. Hey, yeah, listen, I'm saving that picture. <laughs> hey, hey, let's get <laughs> that, that's the that's the don't bring your woman around me true player for real photo. <laughs> <laughs> that one's going in the spank bank. That one. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh my god! And for everybody that's listening to the live stream right now. This is what we talk about when we say we go a little homo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What, a... <laughs> what was it last night with you and Flipping Chris? You got like proper close, didn't you? Like proper too close to each other. <laughs> it was, me, Chris. was it? Who was it? When you were sat on it? what? Paul and Chris. Was Probably it Paul and Chris? Yeah, they had a little bromance going on, didn't they? They nearly kissed at one point. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> they both put the lips out after the laugh and flipping. I think Chris went full in, didn't I? No, I went full in. Or was it you? <laughs> Don't tease me. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was gutted now. Oh, gonna, right. I told you I was going to. Oh, man, this is a little complication, but I was seriously. I was thinking the same thing. My wife said, oh, you should have gone. Yeah, you, you would have loved it. We was all talking about you. Oh, don't worry. Uh, that doesn't make me feel any better, Woody. <laughs> he was there in spirit, mate. Yeah. He was. I see, and this is how much we think about you. Even while we're sat there in the sun, drinking. Oh, what, what was that you had? What was that drink you had? It was naughty, wasn't it? Oh, my God. That could easily turn me into a drinker. Woody, Woody, you don't drink, Woody? No. Paul was trying to get me drunk last night. I don't know that. why he had his little red pants on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not a shop, you know that, don't you? I'm not, I'm not a drinker, yeah. either, Woody. I'm going to have to ring him because I think it's like one of these. Hey Woody, I told you my Apex controller failed, man. Yeah, I remember you saying. I'll see um a picture. Uh, I see yeah, it's in the garden. I got a different one yesterday. What? The other one there. I think it's like a. Well, yeah, yeah, no, it it died. Shit. Are they not going to look to see what was wrong with it, or are you just going to keep it? No, 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 no. I, I um, they hooked me up. Yeah, I see you had a new one in the box. Yeah. Um Yeah, yeah, they, no, they they hook me up. I just know I just know the guy. So, you know, I go through I don't have to go through the official channels, you know. Yeah. No, they got you it quick. Yeah, otherwise I'd have to send it in and wait for it to get repaired and So you're all back up and running that? Yeah, well, no. I didn't hook it up yet. I have to reprogram everything because I didn't save my configuration. Uh. 
yeah, that's that's not gonna be fun, Woody. Wait, um, no, definitely not. Wait, Haley said she just made a batch of salt. She just made a a batch of RO water. The PO four is point one, and the NO three is two. And she tested her RO water, and they were both zero. So she says she's gonna moan to Aquaforest about her salt having phosphates and nitrates. Yeah, good point. Wow. See, they're not they're not bad levels. They're, they're acceptable levels. But if you're already putting them in a tank where the levels are maybe elevated anyway, it's just uh, adding to the problem, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I would think it would be her source water, but she said she um, she tested it. That was oh. zero. So. <coughs> I'm gonna do a big because what happened is um my sump wasn't working for about four or five days and then stupid no, Woody, no. I turned on the um I turned on the turn pump so a lot of the um a lot of my stuff started mixing oh yeah so I'm gonna do a what the tank actually the tank like, a few corals. Oh shit! A few corals yeah. are bleaching. Really. Yeah. You know, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> a few of the sensitive acros are bleaching. Oh, one minute. Let me just uh, find something for my daughter. She's getting mental. <laughs> hey, Aaron. Where did you go? Yo, yo, yo. Uh, yes, I did. I did, Vicky. I shouldn't have. I apologize. Yeah. I shouldn't, Vicky. I shouldn't swear. I'm just uh, messaging them. Hi, Aaron. Yeah, we're oh, doing yeah, kind of, There you go, there you go. I can hear you now. I'm just trying to find the place. I just found it now. I think. Uh, uh, oh. Right, just one second. I'm just going to go and find out what the script is. Oh, not right. This T's Reef. Hello? Is this T's Reef? T's Reef. Yeah. On the side here? Yeah, no, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, the gate's in the back. Yeah. Is that what I did? Yeah. Well, look at the rest of the player. Look at the rest of the rim. This is just as bad. As long as it's not, as long as it don't go down. Mike, we can't see anything. Yeah, we can hear you, man. Yeah, we can hear you, but we can't see. I know, I'm just, um, I don't want to put the live stream on yet because I don't know what the script is. Uh, whether I'm allowed to or not. Yeah, I mean, because it's not a shot. Uh, oh, well, it actually looks like a shot to me. Let me shut that. Uh, we'll we'll let Michael figure it out and then let us know. I'm just like, I know it's a proper shot. <laughs> hey, it's nice, you know. Do you know what it is? Um, 
it's like a, how do I explain it? Oh, I don't need to explain it, I'm on a live stream, I'll just show you. <laughs> Let me just go and grab my camera. It's in the back of somebody's house, you know, the, the shop. So when you drive past, you wouldn't even know. It just looks like a house. But then in the back, there's like a, like a fish shop in the garden, in the back garden. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, so let's see it. Come on, man. Yo, yeah, man. Everyone, you there? All right, sorry, I got I got kicked out of my own hangouts. I was wondering what was going on. Man. I think you're laughing now. Yeah, hey, can you hear me? Yeah, man. Can you hear me now, yeah. You pretty clear too. All right, so let's switch this camera around there. If we can get the thing. So it's like. The side of a house, it's like you're going through to the garden. Yeah. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, yeah good, mate. And it's there. This, this nice little shed in, in somebody's back garden. <laughs> And then look, look at this. Look at that. Hello? Wait, Hello? What? Wait, what was that? Look at that. All the way down there. It's a proper shop. I know. <laughs> Oh, Mike, you're breaking up a little bit. Mike, we lost you. We lost the signal. We lost the video. Michael, hey, I think we lost him. Mm, too bad. Yeah, we lost him. Um, <laughs> we should have the Aqua Expo there. Yeah, I agree. I don't know if it's... I don't know. Yeah, Mike, we lost you. I don't know if um if Paul wants to try. Oh, Vicky, he's extending it. Yeah, that was kind of the back of the house. You go to the back of the house, and then it's just there. I'm gonna message him on Facebook and know that we we're not seeing any video.
What's up, Exig Exclusive Reef? Yeah, I think I think we lost his signal. I sent him a message on Facebook, but yeah, I think we lost his signal. What up, Exclusive? What's going on, man? How's the tank breakdown going? Mike, the prices are good? Yeah, we're just waiting for them. I think we lost them. There you go. Hey, Melanie, congratulations. I know that must be exciting. Waiting on um, grandchildren. MP40. Very exciting. Yep, I agree.
Hello, Tyler. How are you? What's up, fishy snowman? Is this expo like where we have a reefer palooza? A little bit like it. Um, so they are, um, they don't have like palooza type events in the UK. So I think Paul and Woody have kind of organized one. Um, it happened yesterday. It's called the Aqua Expo. And um, it happened yesterday, Sunday, in London. They're from, you know, like the north of England, while London is in the south. So this, you know, they asked me to throw up a live stream to kind of keep their company on the way home, way back to, you know, north. They have a long drive up north. They were about two hours from home, and they decided to make a detour to stop at the LFS. I think that's close to Mad Dog. If you um, he's on YouTube too. So I think um, when they when they're in the store, the signal is really low. So I think they just got disconnected. So I'm just here by myself and Woody. What's up, Woody? But I think Woody's handling something with his daughter. So for now, it's just just me. Hey, fishy. Um, I'm gonna bring those Zoas to Palooza. So I'll see you at Palooza. I was at the birth of my grandson. It was simply the best thing in the world. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, childbirth. Oof. All right. I'm a, oof. I was there for both my kids being born. Oh. Yeah. I'm still recovering. After 10 years, still recovering. Hello, Tyler. You got your son here, so All you're right. not alone. <laughs> All right. Yep. I'm glad to have my son here. Oh, and my son has kids. Can you please make... I, I'm not even a junior. You're a little O. <laughs> you're a little O. Yeah, um, I don't know what ha where these guys went. I think this is the they intermission. Probably, they probably have to handle something. Yeah, this is the yeah. They, I think where they are. Um, signal is low. Mini O. Twenty seconds. All right, exclusive. I think exclusive broke down his tank. It is 8.30, 8.40 a.m. here in the morning in Brooklyn, New York. Melanie has a question. Awesome to have your son. How old are you, Tyler? Yes. I'm, I'm nine years old. I'm going to become 10 in July. July 4th. He was born on the 4th of July, so. He will be 10 July 4th. Going into the fifth grade, right? Yeah. All right, fifth grade. Next going, year. going into the fifth grade next year. At, at September, though. Yeah, September. Yeah, next school year. Going into... um. See ya. <laughs> and um, my five-year-old, he just got up, I think. He, no, no, he got up one hour ago. He got up. Hi, Christian. Hi. How are you? Um, did you eat breakfast already? Yeah. Vicky's here. Waffle to put in? One waffle. Yeah. yeah. Don't encourage him, Haley. Don't encourage him. Not, not encourage him. He thinks he's... Is Tyler the one that plays games? Yes. He plays games with... Taylor, Woody's son, so they play games together. So Tyler is my son, Taylor is Woody's son. So yeah, they play games together. Even though it's kind of weird with the with the um time differences, you know, but yeah, they play games. If anyone has a son about nine, ten, eleven that plays on Xbox. 
Tyler, Melanie says both her grandsons are gamers. Yeah, every, Tyler likes to talk. He does like to talk. <laughs> Why do you have a wrench? <laughs> you moderated me. Why are you asking me? What kind of question is that? I'm gonna, I think I'm going to take away this wrench. No, please. No, don't. Right, should I put no. user in the timeout? No, no. Should I remove user? No. Should I report to No. User? All right. Don't do anything to me, please. I'm on his substitute. Wait, what? My grandson is a mini game player. He's only five. What? Tell him your son, too. Yeah, my son is fine. Um, Haley, you know what? It's weird. I am... I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm just being overprotective, but, um, you know, they've played like Plants vs. Zombies, which are shooting games, but Minecraft. And I'm having a hard time kind of just graduating to like, um, like the, Family. You know, no, like, um, like some of those other shooting games. Fortnite? Yeah, Fortnite or this other thing. So um so that's where they kind of they, they want to play Fortnite. Um so that's where I'm I'm stuck at right now. Melanie one grandson plays on Xbox, the other one on Sony. Yeah. Oh really? I can't wait till grandchildren. He doesn't play Fortnite yet. That's kind of where I am trying to decide if I want if I, you know, let him play Fortnite. Um, that's where the debate is going on in my head and between me and my wife, like, cause they do play shooting games, but it is like the cartoony type shooting games, like plants versus zombies. They shoot each other, but you know, it's not like there's any blood or anything on yeah. it. I'm, I'm still trying to decide. Yeah. Some of those games are crazy. Yeah. Well, you know, not, I'm not going to graduate to call of duty or anything like, Oh yeah. yeah. It, I'm still thinking. What's up, Craig? What's up, Reefer Madness? Hey, man. How's everything going? Yeah, hey, Leo. It'll probably be Fortnite pretty soon. Yeah, um, Craig, I hope everything is all right. I know there's probably nothing we can say, but... Um, Haley and Melanie, I think that's why I'm going towards Fortnite because there's no blood and there's no guts in it. So I think that's what I'm I'm that's what I'm leading towards um Fortnite because it's just it's still kind of cartoony. Um so we will I'm still thinking it'll happen soon. Yeah, I'm sorry for madness. I, I I have no idea what you're going through. I have no idea. And I don't know if there's any words or anything I can say, but I'm thinking about you, man. Let me, get, hang on, let me give these guys a call and see what's going on. Give me one second.
all right, they're just having some connection issues. So we're gonna see if we can um, we can get them in. I'm gonna post a few more, a couple of links. See if that works. Yeah, they, yeah, we saw a little. I think Michael said he's shooting some clips at his store, um, but he said it's not a connection thing. Like, for some reason, they can't get back into the Hangouts. So we will see what happens. It looks nice, though. It looks nice. Just got to... Is, Tyler, is that my phone? I'll check. Yeah, that's it, your phone. Woody. It's Woody. The castle has failed me. What? Hang on a sec. Hmm. Hey, Craig, how you doing, Craig? Not too bad, brother. How you doing? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Just give me a minute, all right? Let me just handle something and I'll be back, all right? Nope, sounds good, man. Hey, Craig, how you doing, Craig? Oh, oh. Not too bad, brother. How you doing? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Just give me a minute, all right? Let me just handle something, and I'll be back, all right? No, nope. sounds good, man. Hey, Craig, how you doing, Craig? Oh, oh. Not too bad.
for me. Yeah. Hey, Craig, what's going on, man? Hey, Craig. Oh, sorry, man. I just had some business to, I was on the phone. Yeah. Whew. I know Woody's muted. He's taking care of something. And um, I, was, I was just talking to Craig a second ago. Leave it alone. Hey, what's up, Death Mage? What's up, Mage? What's up, Reefing with... Oh, oh that's me. There we go. Well, that'd be you. Yeah, there you go. Sorry about that. I was muted. Yeah. Can you hear me okay now? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I totally forgot I muted myself in uh, Hangouts. Didn't even look. Yeah. Uh, how you doing, man? I, I'm all right. I'm holding up okay. Um, yeah, it's uh, yeah. I come home to my cats destroyed uh, half my office, so they must have got on a tear. And my big guy uh, can, does have the propensity to get caught in wires, so he yanked down half my stuff and actually destroyed my headset. So I have this spare gamer headset, but I absolutely deplore wearing it. I don't like big headphones. Mm -hmm. I'm a little little tiny headphone kind of guy you know? me too i think my um i don't know my ears sweat or something so I don't, yeah it's, it just makes me feel weird you know um because even when i used to do recordings for people and everything i always literally uh, uh if you've ever seen somebody you know recording uh, you know uh rock videos and i got the one headphone they're holding up to their side and the, the other one's hanging backwards kind of deal yeah those are people that have an aversion to having full headsets on yeah Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, what's yeah. up, OG? Hey, you I'm good, man. Morning, hey, what's up, little buddy? <laughs> what's up, Craig? I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing all right. I just who was who that? Oh, which which kid was that? Um, my five year old. What's his name? Um, Christian. Hey, good morning, Christian. Morning. <laughs> How you guys doing? Oh, hanging in there, man. Holiday today. Oh, yeah. right. It's Memorial Day in the States, isn't it? Yeah. Happy Memorial Day. Barbecue in? Any barbecue, OG? Uh, nah. Just relaxing. Enjoying a three-day weekend. Good times. Good times. Yeah. Yeah. I know. How did, how did, um, how did the uh, Expo, Aqua Expo go for them? Um, they said it went well. Yeah, that's um, what I heard. We yeah. went on with them um, all morning. I think they lost connection and can't get back in. But I think they said it doubled in. I think last year they had a hundred people, and they doubled that to a little over two hundred this year, which is good. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, because I was trying to watch it. I saw them on, and the connection wasn't so hot, and they were just sitting there talking. So I didn't. I didn't see too much. Yeah. I think um you know the I, th I think you know here we have so many frag swaps and meetups. Mm -hmm. I don't think the culture there is so it's not only starting something. I think it's also you know you, you got to do with, with reef. You have to do it's almost like you have to also do the cultural shift for people. You know, right. yeah, used to yeah. so here we have the big shows like you know even regional stuff. You have Jake Adams with Reef Stock in Colorado, yeah. uh, the Denver area. My brother tell it all. You have um the Reef of Paloozas. Reef of Paloozas all over. And then, uh, um, hold on, yeah. Yeah, even within each area, like OG, in the last six months, how many of them? You had one in Connecticut. You had one in New Jersey. You had one in South Jersey. You have you have one in New York City. You have Long Island. So they're right. all over the place. All over. Like, if, if they could um get ahead of it and, and, and kind of corner the market over there, they could really do well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, that's what that's what I was thinking. Um, uh, yeah, it's a it's a good opportunity. It's it's. I mean, they're fun. I love them. I actually love going to them, meeting up with people. Right. Uh, it's the best part of this hobby, man. I always think if you put all this energy into into this nice tank and then you can't share it, that's that's a tragedy. Right, right, right. It's like. Um, Yesterday, uh, Tony Pipes was on somebody's stream, and he, was talking, he went into somebody's house, and when he got into the living room, it was an 800 gallon, 11 and a half foot tank. Yeah. I wish this guy 
had a YouTube channel so we could see it. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people don't, uh, yeah, get into it that way, right? Like, um, uh, I was noticing that the other day. There's a guy here I have literally 20 minutes up the road from me has a 450 gallon tank that he's built into his bar. Mm. Right. So it's L shaped. Right. So, and I've seen that before, but never seen it in person. And when I was there, it was just, you know, mind blowing how nice this tank was, you know, but uh, he's a private person, doesn't want people to see him. Right, it just does it solely for his own enjoyment. So oh, yeah. maybe, maybe him and his club, and that's about it. Yeah. yeah, there's a there's a lot of private people in um, you know, like even you know the guys at Manhattan Aquariums will tell you there's some nice tanks they take care of privately. Um, you know, like for instance, when someone's going on vacation and they just want the service company to just watch the tank for a week or two, yeah, nothing is happening. But, you know, never heard of this person, never seen this person come to the store or, you know, they just see this person come to the store periodically and look around. And then when they realize like what this person has, you know, in their apartment or their home, it's like a mind blowing tank. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, agreed. Yeah. Hey, what's up, DC Reefer? What's up, man? Oh, and uh, oh, to you and to everyone else who has uh, sent me uh, condolences and everyone. Thank you very much, people. I do appreciate it. All right, no problem. Yeah. So, Death, Death Mage, did my team win? No, they did not. No, Liverpool did not win, did they? No. <sighs> that's what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that's that was that was suckage, man. And they lost that dude. I forget the guy's name. The guy with the shoulder. Yeah. No, so. Hey, oh, what's up, man? Somebody want to say good morning. Yeah. Good morning, oh. Hey, good morning. How are you doing? I'm That's, good. How are you? That's Neil. Great. I'm doing good. Is everything all right? Yeah, long time no see. <laughs> I know. Since January, right? Yes, yeah, something like that. I know it was cold and rainy. Ah, uh, that yes, that night. Oh, that was a night I want to forget. <laughs> <laughs> not, not because, not because you know, I met you and and everyone else there. But you had a flood or something in your house that day. Yes, I had to leave early. I had a mini, <laughs> mini, mini, mini tank disaster. Yeah. All right, it was good chatting with you. I'm gonna leave. OG, right. do it. <laughs> hey, I gotta get a better name than OG, man. That's hey, what's up, OG? <laughs> I actually kind of like it, but uh, hey, that's me. <laughs> All right, OG. If you prefer OG, we'll stick with OG. That's what, that's what everybody call me. You know, it's funny too. There's a, a guy on the freshwater side, and he was doing a live stream, and I just made a comment in the chat, and he said, "Okay, yeah, that's nice." He said, "By the way, you got the best name on YouTube." <laughs> there you go. New Yorker. Mm, I don't really know where he's at. I got a feeling he's in Pennsylvania. Uh, I don't know. You 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 watch the, uh, freshwater channels, right? Sometimes? Some of them. He has a basement fish room, and he always has his little infant daughter strapped to his chest while he's shooting his videos. I know that guy. I don't know his name right now. Yeah. But I know that guy. yeah. <laughs> it's funny. That's the thing about him that stands out. Yeah. Right. His baby girl is so cute. His baby girl is so cute. Yeah, now, you know what? To be honest, I think that's why I subscribed to his channel. I'm like, this guy's a little odd. Yeah, he always has his daughter strapped to his chest. Yeah, right. Hmm. Never seen that one. <laughs> yeah, fresh. I was thinking of putting up a freshwater tank at one time, so I was subbing to a lot of freshwater channels. Well, you, had, you had one back in the days, right? OG. Okay, his name is um, Palmer Fish Q and A. Mm-hmm. When is the next um, uh, Brooklyn Aquarium? When, you know what happens? The you know what it happens. The first Friday of every month. It's every month. It's oh no no no! The second Friday of every month. Is it the second Friday of every month or the first Friday? Second. I think it's the second. So. You know what, OG? I haven't been. I think January. I've been to one since then. Right. And um, it's just, 
you know what? It's been I've been busy, but I really need to get back on it again. You see, um, uh, E Money is in Saltwater now, right? D? Yeah, he got Saltwater. What? Cool. Yeah, him, him and Dion. E Money Chicklets NYC. It's not Chicklets, brother. It's Sicklets. Uh, <laughs> Listen, man. Listen, man. It. Uh, how do you know it's it's? Oh, he changed his name. E money chick. E money. Listen, man. Stop messing with me. <laughs> all right. It's all how you pronounce it. Is it plumber or plumber? <laughs> oh, come on. Listen, one. That that one is a little ridiculous. That's a ridiculous example because everyone says plumber. Right. Well, everyone says cichlids too. I could be wrong though. Uh, I, most people say cichlids. Um, I guess I guess the non the, the people who keep them, the experts, say cichlids. Right. But the non the people who are just into it, if you see the word, mm -hmm. and you just you pronounce it cichlids. All yeah, right, it's then, not it's cichlids. <laughs> All right, and then the next Come on, one, guys. No, come is on. it is it beta or better when it comes to the fresh water? Uh, beta. Listen, I'm going to go with your pronunciation because you've kept them, so I'm going to go with that. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I don't know why it got stuck in my head early on. I don't know if it's the person I first spoke to um, just said chicklids. Is that how you say it in Jamaica? No, I, I don't remember. I wasn't into cichlids in Jamaica. Okay. Thanks for the smile on my face, boys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, you know what? Cichlids it is. CJ says cichlids, and a couple other people I know say cichlids. It is cichlids. So I'm going to go with cichlids. Oh, snap. It doesn't have a CH at the front. No, it does not. No. Why am I saying cich cichlids? That's all right. I've heard them called cicadas. Oh. Cicadas. Cicadas, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody said I've been keeping fresh water since I was fried. Never heard anyone call them cichlids. <laughs> <laughs> it's because they're sexy. <laughs> All right. All right. I do like cichlids. Like I'm telling somebody, uh, peacock cichlids. I do like them, uh, and I think uh, the yellow ones I like uh, imbunas of some sort. But um, I just, you know, I don't know. Freshwater just never had the pull that saltwater had for me, right? So I will say though, I'm telling you, I, I will say I've always been a saltwater guy, and even when I kept a freshwater tank, it was leading into a saltwater tank like i thought a freshwater tank would have been easier so you know you're trying to get, i was trying to get into it before i went salt because right. i guess whoever i spoke to made it sound like salt was this like you had to be a chemist yeah, yeah. Do it. yeah. and but let me tell you something i have seen some freshwater tanks that rival any saltwater tank and by the way the equipment and the lighting and stuff on some of these awesome freshwater tanks the plan and rival. stuff could yeah. rival like I've seen some that are built that have like automatic water change, you know, built in, and it, right. it, it, while it won't have a skimmer and doser, but it does have CO two. And listen, man, I've seen some with with someone says there's really sensitive plants, and listen, I've seen some awesome freshwater setups, planted tanks. Uh, you know what I love with a planted tank when you see the uh, the purling, mm. when the, the air bubbles are coming up out of the gravel or the dirt. Yep. Because of the CO2, that's beautiful. I have no idea what that means, but all right. Yeah, yeah, you'd have to see it to understand. It's almost kind of like, uh, you know, when we bubble, and sometimes you get the uh, the trapped ones underneath your rock work, those really tiny bubbles, you almost get that out of the uh, substrate when the CO2 is done a certain way in planted tanks. Right. If you, just, just, if you just put into the search uh, purling planted tank, you'll see a beautiful video. Yeah. Yeah, you'll enjoy it. It's it's neat to look at, right? It's it's I do not degree uh that's the word I'm looking for, make fun of freshwater for the most part. Um, you know, there's certain cases where you'll see a video and you're like, okay, definitely new guy. There you go. Um, but like my son's twenty gallon freshwater tank forever in a day. Um, you know, I joke, you could you could take a wee in this tank and you couldn't kill it. He could handle it no problem you know like literally and he did nothing it would, and because he did nothing this you know he had black sand in the bottom he had the fake plants and the fish everybody was okay because there literally was just it, the bio 
uh, filter on it was just excellent, right? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it was wild. I was like, wow, and the water was crystal clear. And that was before I even had the RODI unit. Um, so thankfully, he never, ever tried to use the DI water and had the presence of mind to look at me. He goes, I need to do a water change. Which one do I use? And I said, oh, I'd use just the RO, right? Because the DI would be too clean. And he's like, okay. And that even made it better. You know what I mean? So he kept that. And then he just, he was bored. Like he said, like I looked in it one day and there was so much detritus in the bottom. I'm like, I don't know how anything's alive. But it could handle it. So we cleaned it out nice and, you know, we didn't do it all at once. And, you know, we finally said, well, I want to sell it. And the guy who came to buy it paid top dollar to buy this tank. So. Oh, man, this purling thing is nice. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Listen, some of these freshwater tanks, man, and there's, there's, I mean, most of the plants are green, but then most of our corals are, like, green. But yeah, then look, uh, you, can get, you can get some different shades of, like, some reds and stuff. And, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Um, there was one I was looking at, and that's the one that's led me to, um, and I'm going to do it, folks. I am. I got to move. Everyone knows that, too, right? And now the monkey wrench of my mother's passing. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like I'm sitting here going, okay, everything's going to wait because I got uh, so much to do. My dad fell apart. Um, and thankfully, you know, me and my uh, other brother were close enough uh, that we could get there. And, uh, you know, she tried to... Uh, my mother was an intensely private person and didn't, you know, see a lot of company anymore, that kind of thing. Um, I put the one post up and like I said, which is what I said, thank you. Thank you for it, everybody. But I had, uh, I think at this point, 95 people, you know what I mean? Like my mother didn't realize how many people, because of me being in the band for so long, how many people knew who she was, you know what I mean? And had met her. So we're going to have uh, a service we're not no open casket. She would, you know, we'll, we'll respect her wishes that she didn't want to put out for a viewing kind of a deal, but uh, we're going to have a memorial sort of service for her. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't, you know, it's like I said to the old man, you know, if you want to come haunt it, mom and get mad at us, go right ahead. I'll just be entertained anyway. But uh, you know, we're, we're going to do that. So, and uh, he even right, came around pretty quick. You know, when he realized, I said, that's what people want. They want to be able to go say goodbye to and he went, you're right. And enough said. Now, my other brother, on the other hand, let's not go there. I'm sorry to hear that, Craig. I'm sorry again, man. No, no, I, I'm not here for, you know, and I, I appreciate it. You know what I mean? It's more, I need to do something to keep me kind of moving along. And I woke up this morning and just kind of, <sighs> you know what I mean? Like the day after kind of deal. So I got gotcha. you. You know what I mean? So I'm sitting there going, well, I'm going to check on all my fish buddies, right? So I watch the Aqua Axel stuff. And, uh, I hear you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I had to check on my tanks, right? You know what I mean? I got to do everything. I had dyno. Uh, nobody's known about that, but, uh, um, you know, how did Craig take care of it? The same way I always take care of everything. Every day I'm bubbling. <laughs> You know what I mean? So I did that and I cleaned out the dyno I had slowly, uh, just, just, you know, siphoned it out, did a minor water change. Uh, seems to have gotten it under control again, but I have wicked cyano in my sump. Just wicked. Not sure where that's coming from. I think it's got to be the light that I'm using. So in a refugium, in a refugium, yeah, in my refuge. Yeah. What kind of lights are you using down there? Uh, the Phillips full spectrum, uh, led light. So I think it's the light. I went through it in the big tank, but not as not as severe. So I think I think it happens every now and again, though. Um, I get it in the refugium, like um, when the what I'm trying to say is I think it's a little bit normal to get a, little, you know, I I like that at least in my system it happens on top of the because of the way um you know black acrylic and stuff. There's not a light a lot of light spillage right. in other sections. So when it does happen. It happens. Um, it happens in one area, and it happens on top of the chato. So then it's easy to just cut the top four inches off. Yeah, and just um, yeah. That's thank you. That's that was where I was leaning today. Before I get into the rest of my day, was to uh, I'm gonna uh, what's the word I'm talking? About? Uh, prune back the uh, chato mm -hmm. and let the fresh stuff underneath come forth. 
So, yeah, you know, I don't flip my chato. I don't do any of that fancy stuff. It just grows. And even when I, you know, um, I look at the bottom, you know, it, it seems to be fine down there. The bottom doesn't, it's not, you know, it's still green when I pick yeah. it up and look at it. So I don't, yeah, I don't do the flipping thing. Um, it just, yeah, it just works. So then I just cut up, cut off like the top four or five inch layers. I used to prune it really small. And then I realized that maybe that wasn't enough. So, you know, it's running out of space and it's really dense. Like it's a right. job when, um, when you're prune, when I'm pruning it, I have to use one hand to hold it. And then the other hand to like cut it and tear it yeah sorry to hear that bronx oh yellow tang tangs in general man oh yeah i'm done with tangs i got a blue tang he is attacking my blood shrimp now too by the way that tang which tang was it again the blue hippo tang that uh, killed my cleaner shrimp Ooh. and then uh, now he's he's picking on my blood shrimp right like i can see that his his tentacles right his antennae right sorry are uh bit up <laughs> and i'm like you what are you doing you know, like you what? I'm doing it. Yeah, it's my. I know it's my blue tang. I've I've got video footage. I've had people who freaked out that I have footage of a tang doing this, right? And I'm like, yeah, it's. I don't know what his problem is, but he's, you know, this is the blue murderous hippo tang. You know, like <laughs> this is not a normal fish. Yeah, was that is that Benoit balls just came in? My ben, yeah, that's my Benoit balls. You ever, <laughs> everyone liked that, did they? Uh, yeah. I'm really hoping that Lucy, um, who's a uh, dwarf seahorse keeper, wasn't offended. It had nothing to do with her. It was just, I was thinking Jacques Cousteau, you know. All right. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I don't, did anybody here besides me, I, I know I'm older. Um, I mean, I'm only 46, but um, I was thinking about that the other day. Like, does anybody here remember the Jacques Cousteau specials that used to be on TV? Um, I don't remember the specials, but I, I, I know about them. I don't remember the specials that were on TV, or at least I don't think I remember. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, yes. Yeah, thank you, Mage. That's the other thing we were thinking. Maybe they're trying to clean them and he just doesn't want to be cleaned or something, but, uh, there's, there's a video and I'm debating putting it up where I do the Stewie Bryan thing. Where's my money? Where's my money? Yeah. While he's beating on the shrimp. So I don't know. I don't know why he's doing it. I have, you know, he's fed well, you know, you know, I don't feed a lot. So that, that could be it. So yeah. that Melanie remembers it. Yeah. As we swim along under the ocean and we see the wild and beautiful, you know, like, yeah, it just was a thing. Reef in Rio said, um, he got a, his dream fish is a purple tang. And if you want to guess how much he got it for. I guess um, hundred bucks. Yeah, about a hundred bucks. I would I, think, or I, less, or free. You might have got one that somebody just had a problem with. I had one, and the um, yeah. the four foot tank just became aggressive. Um, hmm. if I was supposed to get one now, I think I'd have to get a really small one, and I'd have to probably get get a smaller yellow tank too. Yeah, that's what I think we're going to work towards is uh, the blue hippo tank has a home the minute I take them out of the tank. There's like mm -hmm. lots of people who want them. And I'm sure that a change of scenery will change its behavior. It generally does, right? Yeah. And thanks, Mage. That was it, too. We're trying to not necessarily spot feed him, um, but uh, they've got a majority of the algae in my tank just cleaned right out. So he could just be bored. So. Um, Reef and Rio said he got it for ninety dollars and he expected the crap out of it. That's a good price. Yeah. Um, because here, I mean, here in New York, we've seen them for like two hundred dollars. I think every now and again we see Petco has them on sale for let's say like ninety bucks. But you know, it's Petco, so you have to quarantine the heck out of it, and then there's yeah. no guarantee at all. No, because you don't know what kind of stress that fish has been under. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, and you know, and that goes without saying, I, I literally <laughs> dropped into my LFS guy because um, he's also my friend, right? And uh, he actually has a black tang. And I'm like, what are you doing with this, right? I mean, this is what, it, I, last time I checked, a black tang goes for what, 450 500 bucks? 
that cheap? I don't think it's that cheap. No, I think it's even more, isn't it? Yeah, like I told him, I said, like, what, you know, that's what he's going to sell it for, right? And I'm like, well, are you going to even make a profit? And he goes, oh yeah, right. I said, so the guy ditched it on you because he couldn't sell it for whatever. A thousand it was. bucks on Live Aquaria. A thousand dollars. Yeah. So I got to make sure to tell him, like, I live in a very depressed area, for lack of a better term. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a lot of uh, recession here. You know what I mean? Um, to put it into perspective, all of the office space, right, that's for rent, there's 41% vacancy here. Wow. Yeah, that's huge, right? Like that's, you know, I said to one guy, I said, you got to realize, I said, even for living, you know, for, for rental for people here, it's 24%. And the, they don't get it. They keep raising the prices here, thinking that's how they're going to offset this. And it's like, guys, that's the problem. You're not thinking from the perspective that there's no new jobs coming into this city. You know, a call center job only pays somewhere between 11 and, and $15 an hour. Um, and you're asking for $1,000 for rent? And that's without, you know, utilities? No. As you guys are definitely thinking the wrong way. Nobody's got that kind of money. So... You know, like my, the owner of this building here that tried to boot us out and still is trying to boot us out. I said, well, that's great. Give me my notice properly, you dumbass. Oh, I didn't tell anybody that. This guy screwed up. They thought they were going to get us out for the 1st of June. And it's like, well, you haven't given me my notice. Well, I told you that's not how it works. You have to give me written notice. And he's like, oh, I said, so see you on the 1st. So like, you, um, you found a new place already? No, and uh, the place that we want is not available till September. So now I'm thinking about working with this guy and saying, look, I don't mind paying my rent where I am. You know what I mean? And you know the way the market is. So, you know, why don't we make a deal? I'll stay here till September. Pay my rent as usual, and I'll be over the 1st of September. So we'll see. Um, yeah. And... and and it leads into some other things, but there are other places we can go. I just want to have a place that I can take my 120 gallon tank. So, cause some right. of them are on third floor, that kind of thing. And you know, 120 gallon tank is not a light tank. So yeah, not easy to move either. Yeah. Yeah. No, One I'm just reading your chat. That's a, that's a four foot by two foot by two foot, right? Yeah, mine's a standard, yeah, 422. You know? Yeah, that's a nice size. That is a nice reef tank size. Yeah, we were, uh, what we're kind of hoping for is that when we do the move, we're going to redo the rockscape, so fresh sand, fresh rock, because um, I have a very well-seated sump, right? So wouldn't take long to actually put that in and give it a couple of days, check for, you know, the, the standard stuff, make sure there's no ammonia and whatnot, and then I can put everybody back. Yeah, you could probably uh, just, um, if you have Marine Pure or any of that media, you could probably put, I mean, when I moved, I had Marine Pure seating for months before. Yep. That's um, what I literally yep. just yep. put everybody in the new tank and just, you know, for peace of mind, I added, um, some colony or Dr. something. Tim bacteria. Yeah. I didn't know about colony at the time. I just knew Dr. Tim's and Biospira. So I use, I, I always use Dr. Tim's. I like it. Yeah. Since then, I've learned about so many other bacteria, Colony, Fritz, yeah. Um, yeah. ATM, the Fritz, the, um, the, yeah, there's so many new ones. But um, yeah, at the time, it was only Biospire and Dr. Tim's. Yeah, and then Colony, which you hadn't heard of, right? And now the new one for me was Fritz, the Z Fritzheim 460. Yeah. Oh, that's the one I use to, um, I, I mean, I know there's different strains of, um, dinoflagellates. Um, yeah. So I, you know, I emailed Miss Fox back and forth. He told me how to test to ensure it was truly dinos. So I used some bacteria in my 75. I think I used like a quarter of the bottle up front. I did some bubbling and then I added a UV sterilizer. But yep. between the bubbling and the um, the bacteria, that probably killed about 80% of it. Yep. And the UV running the water, like the very slow speed through the UV where it basically kind of neutralized everything. That kind of got rid of my dinos. That was the dino killer. What a great idea. I never thought of that, Mage. Use a egg crate and corner them into a corner nice and uh, slow. I never thought to do that. That is an excellent idea. That's like the mini quarantine, mini timeout. 
yeah, like you kind of, you could, you know, build yourself a corner piece of egg crate, make it as tall as your tank, and then use it to kind of slowly corral him in and, you know, make it big enough, I guess, you know, like, especially my tank, I'd have more than enough room to do like a foot and a foot, right? And just corner him in. And that way, if you're going to catch him and take him out, that would be easier too, because now he has nowhere to really go, um, you know, to get away and, and get under the rock. And my cats are going, oh, I'm going to kill my cats, man. <laughs> Oh my god! I can't believe they did that. Um, so they must have my uh, my headset hangs off the end of my desk uh, and was plugged in the front of my computer, and they must have been running around the bottom of the desk, caught the cord, right? And when they, of course, you know, full tilt boogie, you know, my big cat's twenty pounds, right? So he's got more than enough weight behind him, and he and he broke the end of the USB cable. Yikes! Didn't break my computer, thankfully. You know, my baby that I'm, I'm sitting here going, is everything okay? You all right? <laughs> so, but Brock, yeah. But Brock is asking, how do you catch your tang without destroying your tank? I have a fish trap that's worked mostly. Yeah. Um, I usually leave it in for a few days and feed in it so they kind of get comfortable and eat out of it. Um, but the most, I think it's hardest to catch the wrasses. I think you, I, le I leave it in for a week before I even attempt to catch them. Yep. Yeah, that there's that. Um, another fish trap that's weird that I came up with it, um, and I think I've got it on video, but I, uh, if you've ever been to the dollar store and seen, you know, those glass kind of sugar jars, I call them, you know, it's got the metal rings and you can, you know, clamp it shut. Um, I actually just put one in, put food in it, and the wrasses and the dotty backs go in it, no problem, and you just have a fish line tied to the top and kind of position it and just let go of the fish line and... It closes lightly, keeps them trapped, and in you go. Yep. Right? It works like a charm, but it's and it's three bucks, so I don't care if it's going to rust because I'll throw it away anyway, right? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you know, but a fish trap is definitely the way to go if you're trying to catch those idiots, right? American Reefing has a question. Um, hey, oh, are you planning to go to Rap New York? Yeah. Hey, hey, um, Jeff, I thought you were going to get the vendor badge. Hi. Um, yeah, I'm planning on going both days. I'm planning on going the Friday if I'm if I'm not traveling, so three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I might get the vendor badge or the diamond badge or one of the, you know, something. Yep. So I'd love to go. If, um, if I'm a text you and we could give me a text and um, I'll be right back. Yeah. I think we can work that out. Oh, you, you got it from the guy. Oh, shucks. I got to message that guy right now. <laughs> Oh shoot! Billy Pipe's been telling me to message the guy. Man, I am so bad. Hey, Jeff, can you um, can you message me um, can you message me the guy's number? I forgot, man. What's up, OG? Um, with the Reef of Palooza, is this like a lot of standing around and walking around? Is there any place to sit and relax? Sit and relax. There is going to be like a little cafeteria area. That's about it, right? Yeah. There's a lot to see, man. Okay. There's a lot to see. Um, were you looking to sit down, OG? I mean, you know, I ain't trying to be there two days in a row, uh, eight hours and standing up. Oh, yeah, man. You could go to the um, you could go to the little cafeteria area, sit down. You like Billy Pipes and bring your own lawn chair. Yeah, he he comes prepared with the wagon and water. Yeah, and you just bring your lawn chair. I think I think a little a nice little lawn chair. You know, you can put in the corner and relax. Billy yeah. Pipes come with the wagon with the sodas, everything, candy. Yeah. Probably had ice cream last year. Oh, he had to get the name in two Fridays ago. Oh shucks. Yeah, man. Ah, uh, I'm. I missed it. You know what? What, I'm just gonna, what would that have gotten you? Um, I think got in at a vendor. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. You know what, man? I totally messed up with that. I'm just gonna get the diamond pass. I'm gonna have to pay for the diamond pass. Yeah. I totally messed up with that, Jeff. So what's the difference between the different types of passes? Just how long or what ac access? So you could the... pay 20 bucks, which gets you in a day, and it starts at 11. 
So for the Diamond Pass, you get in two hours earlier than everybody else. You get in three days. You get in Friday when they're setting up. Right. So you can look around, walk around, annoy them when they're setting up. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then the two days, the Saturday and the Sunday, you get in two hours before everybody else. So let's say you're looking for some high-end stuff. You know, it's almost like you get in before everybody else, before the general crowd. Uh, you get to, uh, I guess, walk around, pick, pick, get your pick of the corals. Right. Okay. Oh, so yeah, just let you pick of the litter kind of deal when you're looking around. Yeah. That's not, that's a nice advantage, especially if you're looking for something specific mm -hmm. that may be uh, in short supply, you know, like a Jason Fox piece or whoever, you know, kind of deal, right? Yep. Kind of nice. Yep. Yep. That's, uh, yeah. Huh. What's, what's the most expensive coral either of you guys have bought? That I have bought? Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, probably about three hundred and twenty dollars, but it was a very large uh, Miami Hurricane chalice. Probably two something, and that was like some torch, a gold torch. Gold torch. Are they both alive or are they dead? No, uh, no, they're gone. No, gone. I, I had a I had a different pro. That was my first year. I shouldn't have bought it, honestly. Um, it survived for six months, and then. Uh, I don't even remember exactly what went wrong, but it started to peel off. So, mm. and then I overdid it. That new youthful, I don't know the term, look, newbie niche uh, of, of that first year of, of, of doing stuff. I uh, I messed around with the tank too much, I think. And that, that coral didn't suffer it very well. Yeah, so. My um, last year when I went on vacation, I went to Atlantic City for a week. Um, like my return pump crashed and I failed. And the tank, the tank had like a bunch of equipment failures. My ATO failed, my return pump failed. The tank wasn't getting dosed for a week. It was, it was like a lot of mess, and I lost a, a good amount of colonies and corals. And the tank had just started to recover from like me changing from Zeovit to Triton, so it was just like one thing piled on top of the other. Mm. Yeah, man, that was um. Yeah, that's painful, man. You're bringing up painful memories. Old yeah, you're hurting us, man. You're hurting us. <laughs> it, well, you know what? I mean, in all honesty, we've all done that. I mean, like, you know, there's a lot of people who do not believe that I lost like $3,000 worth of coral in the span of a couple of months. And it's like, well, hey, well, I had a lot of hammers, torches, and frog spawn. And unfortunately, whatever event I went through um, after my move, um, yeah, kaboom. Uh, every head mailed out, every last one. Yeah, so I had like one orange octo or orange frog branching frog spawn, um, purple, sorry, with orange striations on it. So the stems were actually orange. Um, and it every head bailed out, and there were 12 heads at $40 a head. Wow, yeah. you know, like, oh, yeah, that's painful when I think back to it, how many I lost. Mm. Um, I had an Aussie gold metallic, so that's red with gold tops. Um, and it had six heads on it at a hundred bucks a head. Lost them all. Right. And I'm just like, oh yeah. So I waited a good long time, made sure everything was sort of back in shape, restarted a couple of things. Um, and you know, things have been good since, and I haven't really lost a lot. Like I can't keep an SPS to save my life right at the moment and I don't bother. Right. I'm just going to wait, let all my tanks come back into, you know, what they're doing. And now with a move, I've reset that clock again. You know what I mean? So I'll just let everything just mature again for a good six months to a year before I even think about stepping into that, that area again. Mm -hmm. So, you know, stability, right guys? Stability. That's what it is. Um, the cor corals will, some take it better than the other, but even if your parameters are not spot on OG, it's the fact that if they're stable, the corals will adjust. And then it's that, you know that that swing, the fast swing that really affects them. I just I just read what what Mage wrote. <laughs> Made you funny. <laughs> I didn't read what it made me. She said, "OG stands for old guy." <laughs> he is old, Mage. <laughs> Woo! Or old gangster, or you know. <laughs> A bunch of things OG could stand for. Oh God. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know, man. I, I, love, just... I love Reefer Bandits because I'll tell you, you know, we were joking there. Uh, one of my uh, live streams before things went south there on me. Um, there was somebody who was angry because the connotation for them was that it was about dope. I'm like, uh huh. And now that you know it's about fish, are you going to stick around? Yeah. Well, there you go. So get stoned and watch my fish, man. <laughs> original gangster. Original, original gangster. gangster. Yeah. That's... Yeah. What's up with the 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 whole um, thing about corals being banned from the coming Indonesian from Indonesia? Ban? Yeah. Um, there's no ban. What it is is there's an interdepartmental fight going on where uh, the health certificates are not being issued. So this department, it, it's it's like they didn't get the memo that the ban that was spoke of back in January was never implemented. There was a different route they were taking. So uh, there's a few contacts people have at Walt Smith, uh, WSI over there. Mm -hmm. And what the problem is, is that they can get all the site stuff they need for the shipping, but they need the health certificates issued by the country or they won't accept them when they get to the U.S. Yeah. and other countries. So they can't ship right now because, you know, they'll sit there and, and die because you can't get the health certificate issued, right? So that's what's going on, and I haven't heard anything as of late. And when I get around the things in my life that have just happened, um, or somebody else does, I'm sure, right? Um, but I've got uh, Rip Van Winkles trying to talk to somebody he knows. And uh, I know there's a few guys on the uh, Reef to Reef that are in touch with those fellas and are trying to find out if that's been resolved yet, because it's not a ban. It is literally that one department that's keeping those guys from shipping. Okay. And they're, you, they don't work like our governments. You know how our government, you know, somebody could just say, listen, issue that, that is not in effect. Right. As of right now, kind of deal. Um, so yeah, that's, that's where it's at anyway. And it's stuck there. So uh, effectively, I guess you could call it a ban, but it's not. But, you know, that's, uh, you know, people don't understand interdepartmental fighting because we don't really get that here. You know, well, we do, but it, it, it's usually very petty and squabbly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you got it, Jeff. That's exactly it. Two departments don't like each other, and it's probably the two heads of those departments that don't like each other. Yeah. Oh, well, here, I'll just, you know, hurt you where it counts. Oh. Oh. I have no idea what any of that means. Oh, well, think of it. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Well, can I? So imagine the DEA and the ATF, right, are going to implement a ban on firecrackers, mm -hmm. right, together, right? And, well, the DEA is a poor example for that, but let's say ATF, you know, what I mean, there are two agencies that kind of do a similar job, right? And they both can't go in and, and affect an arrest unless they agree with each other, right? They both have to do a certain way. And imagine that right now ATF is not at all getting involved in anything. So the DEA can't do anything at all because of it, because they have to do it together. And that's what's going on. So, you know, when you ship a coral, you need to have your CITES stuff set up first, right? So it has to be on the import list and da 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 and then a health certificate is issued by that other department. And then that gets slapped on and then everything gets shipped. And then when it gets to the U S or Canada or wherever it is, those two pieces of paper have to be there. And right now the health department over in Indonesia will not issue certificates. So you can't ship gotcha. because it, it won't be accepted at the other end. Ah, uh, gotcha. Right. So, and then, in other words, it'll sit languish and die. Right. Mm hmm. Hmm. So right now, that's that seems to be appears to be what's going on, um, from what people can gather, and they don't know why. That's just what it is, right? So it'll resolve itself because governments over there are kind of loose, for lack of a better term. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's a loose government. It's not you know uh, the prime minister or or president or whatever the case may be running the country you can't go. Hey, start issuing those. It doesn't really work that way. It's yeah, it's they all have their own little piece of the pie and they're not willing to give it up, kind of deal. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, Did I explain that all right. Yeah, 
I'm trying to think. Did I explain that well enough, or did I just confuse the I, issue? I got it. No, no, I got it. I okay. got it. Oh. I got it. Yeah, think about You know what? I'll make it easy. Me and you are going to ship stuff, and I have to sign off, and you have to sign off. And if one of us does it, you can't ship it out. That's what's going on. Yeah. So there we go. There, super simple, Simon. Yeah. I can't think of, you know, and we don't understand. I don't even understand why they're not doing it. You know, it's like, well, what's the benefit? You know, what is it? Because they haven't even made a statement that they're not doing it because of. It's just they're not doing it. So, oh, are you familiar with this? What's your take on it? I, you know what? I, one of the things is, you know what? I think of, so what Craig said a while ago, I understand why the corals are not being shipped. But I think I'm sensitive to the fact that I've heard it and I've heard so what Craig just said, if it is that, I understand why. I, I also agree 100% with Craig that there's politics behind it that we don't understand. I'm just sensitive of kind of putting an opinion out there when I don't, because I've heard this reported like so many different ways, you know, mm. that I don't like, like what Craig said might be the semantics of it. Like that's the technical reason why corals are not being shipped. But I've heard like so many people, you know, comments on it that I don't think I want to add any fuel to the fire. Like, you know, I, I think the first day we heard about it was on a stream and I heard someone say, oh, well, you know, um, you know, I don't know why they're doing this to us. And I'm, I, I always think to myself and said, you know, like this is someone's like, you know, like natural habitat. We, it's it's easy for us to sit here. This is a hobby to us. Like we don't need it, but it's someone. Um, you know, they need the reefs somewhere for for fishing. I don't know, OG. I think I think I, I guess I understand. There's a ban, and I understand the technical reasons why you know nothing is being shipped. But maybe there's another reason somewhere behind the scenes because you know the devil is in the details and the nuances. Mm why this is happening and i'm just you know i, I remember growing up as a kid going to no, i'm not a rancher pass, passing lagoons in jamaica where there were a ton, bunch of corals mm -hmm. nice. you could stand up like hundreds of feet away and i didn't know what corals were or i didn't understand the significance or that i would even 25 30 years later as an adult i would like them but you could stand up in lagoons and look and see like the colors under the water yeah and then 20 years later, like that's all gone, you yeah. know, that's, that's all gone. So I, I don't know, man, that's a, that's a roundabout way to say, I don't know what's going on and we'll see. Okay. I, I don't know. So I found that, um, and, and again, like I said, we're not going to really know cause we're not there. Um, but you know, according to, uh, reef builders, uh, and their contact is that there's, uh, there's a technical issue between two government agencies. And again, there is no ban on the export of Indonesian corals, fish, and marine life, uh, AKKII, the Association of Coral and Seashell and Ornamental Fish Exporter Association in Indonesia, is working diligently with both agencies to resolve the matter as soon as possible. So that's kind of the, the, the party line over there. And again, not really telling us why it's going on, just that it's going on. And I'm okay with conservation, by the way, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whatever they got to do to, to, to protect uh, and limit what's going on is all the better as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, the, I, I'm just reading the same article you just you just quoted, and it says yeah. um, Indonesia is working diligently with both agencies to resolve the matter as soon as possible. And we expect a positive outcome in a matter of several days or at most a couple of weeks. Yeah, and that's it's been a couple of weeks, so we'll see yeah. how that pans out yeah. shortly. Yeah, and that's the thing. And also, you know, yeah yeah um i don't know but listen I, I think there's some instances where we might be taking a lot of this stuff more than we grow yep then is it growing so i i don't know who it's it is easy for me to sit here in my nice comfortable chair in new york city with my aquarium that i've sank thousands of dollars into that's not that is not you know i'm trying to put it in context that's not important to my life or to anything that's not important to me feeding or anything it's 
easy for me to say that, sit there in my, you know, in my nice, comfortable life and tell someone who's on the ground and this is their natural resource. It's, it's, you know, it's not fair for me to sit here and tell them what to do with their natural resource, you know? Nope. No, exactly. Right. We're not there. We're not on the ground. Rip's closer than any of us. How you doing, Rip? Um, he's actually in the stream now too. Um, yeah. So it, I, I just want to be, I just want to be sensitive to just those type of things before you go ahead and, 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 um, you know, cause I'm not there. I'm not seeing it. So no. Yeah. And we're not the ones that, uh, you know, live there that they have to look at it, you know, cause it, and me and Rip, I think spoke at length one night about it and that it wouldn't make sense for them to cut it off. It's a major part of their economy. Mm -hmm. Right. So whatever's going on because we're not there and getting direct information and it's not news to people, you know, it is to us, you know what I mean? And people that are in the hobby and, and associated with the hobby, but for a larger part of the population, they just, SJW that crap and said, well, it's fine. Yeah, let's cut it all off. You guys shouldn't get that stuff anyway. Raiders of the Reef and yeah. so on and so forth. So, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so like customs ranks above immigration and, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep, that is true. Yeah. You know, so whatever's going on over there that we just don't understand the, the semantics of it. You got it. You said it right on the money. It was a, there was a guy on when I first booted the stream up. There's a guy um, from Hawaii here, yeah, on the stream, and he was saying they're not allowed. Like he said, he can go out and collect softies. Like you can't import any corals into Hawaii at all because they don't want any invasive corals to come into Hawaii. So he said, you know, you can also you can't collect like hard corals. Like he said, that is frowned upon, but you can go collect some softies and zoas and he has like a 10 gallon tank and all the stuff is like collected uh but he says um and he was given the example of like lionfish he said somebody brought lionfish into some of the native hawaiian waters and lionfish are just decimating local population so he said they actually have lionfish hunts where people just go out to hunt a lionfish in hawaii i didn't hear about that in hawaii i knew that was going on in the caribbean yeah, I know that's happening in the Caribbean, but um, yeah, so he was on this morning saying, yeah, people just go out and just hunt lionfish. You know, I saw, I don't even know where it was. I saw some kind of documentary where they were trying to acclimate the sharks to eat the lionfish, but they normally wouldn't eat because the lionfish population was just exploding. It's crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. in the Caribbean. That's a big thing in the Caribbean because there's no native, there is no native um, predators to it. So to it, yeah. I think there's even play in the Caribbean. There's even um, they're even teaching local places to like catch them and eat them and cook yeah. them properly. Right? Yeah, cook them. How to cook them? So um, so you know, it's like local cuisine or something. Right. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, they do that with a lot of invasive species that people would normally just throw away. They're trying to find ways to utilize them. Yeah, I think Dave just said we have lionfish in Carolinas, and I just searched the Google search for lionfish, and it just said person stung off the coast of South Carolina by a lionfish. Mm. Yeah. Which, yeah. which, you know, that's interesting too. When people have um, tanks with lionfish and eels, I wonder, like, how do they go in there and aquascape and do things? I guess very carefully, huh? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people. Will, a predator uh, tank. Uh, yeah, when a predator tank, a lot of people will uh, use a net or some kind of a blocking device to keep the fish over that side while they're working. So you do a lot of stuff one-handed because, um, yeah, you get a poke from a lionfish, you're going to know you did. Well, we can't, to be honest, when you, when you, um, when you, right now, when you have mature clowns in the tank, they'll attack you anyway. So, me and my wife kind of have to play defense when you need to put your hand in the tank. She has to use a net and, like, you know, like keep the clowns at bay. Or when, you know, especially when they're mating and they're laying eggs or they've laid yeah. eggs, they get mm -hmm. very aggressive. Like, they get very, very aggressive. They don't want you putting your hands anywhere in the tank. So it's kind of a two-person job, like one person with the net keeping them corralled. Yep. You kind of have to do that. You kind of have to do that. It's yep. not only lionfish. I understand lionfish is different because it's venomous. Right. 
No. There are like other fish, like clownfish. I know can get, a, you know, it's funny. Clownfish can get aggressive. Not just oh yeah, like regular old Nemo clownfish. Well, I told you a story about when I was cleaning my rock in the twenty and the Wyoming white. Actually, the handle was a, like a cupped handle on this brush, mm -hmm. and I was just brushing. I was lifting my hand out, and he swam right up the handle to bite me. And he was actually trapped out of the water in this handle, biting me. And I'm like, what is wrong with you? And I dump him back in the tank, right? You know, like. Why you know it, and you know, so I know when he gets mature, he's going to be a pain in the rear. So he still bites me. I uh, took the uh, female uh, out of the tank because she was beating the crap out of him, and uh, she's down in the sump. And I'll try again at some point, but yeah, generally when they stop being a mated pair, that's it's over. So the divorce is final. Oh wow. Yeah, no, she's that. Yeah, she got she had him pinned in the rock and was beating on him. He couldn't get out. You know, so rather than have him uh, rip himself apart trying to get out, um, she's so aggressive too that I could put my fingers in the tank. She came up to bite me and I just scooped her up. That was nice. That was an easy catch. Thank <laughs> you. I'll take that. Right. Oh, she had him humbled beyond humble, mage. She beat the crap. She literally, it was like, you know, I can't let one $60 fish kill the other $60 fish. You know, it's like, no, 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 no. And I don't know what happened. They were great. And then just, you know, I think she wanted to mate because they were doing their little dance and he wasn't having it. And she just decided, well, if you're not doing that, then it's time for you to go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's, he's actually, he's more entertaining in that tank than she is. He actually does barrel rolls. Like he'll swim into the the flow and then flip around and then it's, you know it's just silly to watch, very entertaining. Yeah. Mm, the man, lionfish. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking at this graphic and they were talking about how they've become really invasive and they say because they're resistant to parasites yep. and native import and and because they can females can reproduce every two to four days. Cheese. Yeah, they're quick reproductive cycle because they're a predator that you know, I forget what feeds on them in the Pacific, but there's tons of stuff that feeds on them, I guess, over there. But you get into the Caribbean, there's no predator. There's nothing that's eating them. They're the apex. Yeah. So <laughs> and lots of food. Yeah. Yeah, Death Mage, I have no idea why uh, the Wyoming White did not, none of it, was having none of it. So, oh well. So, well, f oh, thanks for having me on, bud. I'm going to, uh, I got to go. I do yeah. have, unfortunately, a lot of business to take care of today. I just, like I said, wanted a diversion for a little while, and I appreciate it. I really do. And to yeah. everyone else, again, thanks for the well wishes. I do appreciate it. All right, Craig. All right, guys. You guys hang loose. Take care. All right. Easy. Later. Later, taters. All right, man, we got 27 people viewing, so, man, I was about to shut this bad boy down because it's almost 10 o'clock, and I got stuff to do. Oh, so yeah? I got to go reprogram. I got a whole – my controller failed, and I got a new one, so I have to go reprogram the new one from scratch. Hmm. Sounds exciting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I got to go to the, to the store and get some um, – I think my, my blood parrots got ick or some kind of version of it because they've got these little white marks and they're kind of laying down on the floor. I raise the temperature in the tank. I've been feeding them. They come up to eat and then it's go back, back down. So I'm going to get something to put into the tank. I don't want them to die. Is Dave in the... Um, is Dave in the... Um... He's in the chat. Uh, no, he said up up north. Oh, is he saying up north? Oh, oh, I think Dave is doing some barbecue today. Oh, he's barbecuing. Uh, I was about to say. All right. Oh, we going to Dave's house? Uh, uh, oh, I wish. This is Dave, you got steaks, Dave? Let's go, baby. Hey, all right, Dave. <laughs> all right, Dave, we'll be there. All right, OG, you gonna pick me up on the way there? Got you. You know how he does it. Hi, right, Dave. We'll see you in a bit. <laughs>
Dave, Dave talking to the ladies. He don't even hear us. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. All right, OG. I'll see you in a bit. I'm gonna see if um if I can get um I know these guys um to jump on, and then if not, man, then I'll um I'll talk to you later. Just um I'll talk to you later though. Are you shutting it down? I don't want to. Mm -hmm. Don't want to, but um this originally, man, um Paul called me and said, Hey, we're driving home. Can you throw up a stream? Give us something to do on the way home. But they were having connection issues. But if I can't get them back in, then I am gonna shut it down. Who was the guy in the back? That's Woody in the back seat? No, 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 no. That was one of their other friends. Oh, okay. One of their other friends. So yeah, if I um if I can't get them back in, then right. All right. Just give me one second. I'm just gonna mute and see if I could call them. All right, buddy. All right, guys, we can't get them back in, so I'm going to shut this stream down. If it's possible, um, if it's possible, um, you know, I'll start another one up or see if I can start another one up. But, um, you know, I got to go handle some business at home. The kids are up. And um, so I'll, I'll talk to you guys in a few. All right. All right. All right. Later.